right, three, two, one, and we're live once again. Welcome to HeroQuest fans. It is a hot, hot day, so I hope everybody's staying cool. We're getting another game going of the Frozen Horror. Uh, we are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans, not live on YouTube. So if you're watching this on the replay, sorry, not interactive. But if you're watching this live on Twitch, you can join us in the Twitch chat. If you don't want to be a hero, you can interact. Use your channel points, gold coins, to interact with us. Otherwise, uh, we do have three hero slots open. We've got Zirian with us here. Welcome. Thank you. And you'd like to be the elf. Yes, please. All right. Do you mind being a female elf, or do you have a preference at all? Does not matter. <laughs> okay. Last time we had a female elf, so... All right. <clears throat> Let me just pop the screen back on here. Okay, so when we last left our heroes, they were in a bit of a pickle because, as you can see, well, I just put those skulls there as a reminder that there's some traps in the area, and there's some big, big scary monsters here in the Deadly Depths. So we'll just kind of modify this setup here just slightly. Okay, if you can tell what's going on there. So we've got the dwarf right here. We've got the knight right here. There's this bit of a delay too. There's a barbarian. And then I just got to place the elf. Hold on, let me go get the elf. <laughs> Welcome, Ribby. Welcome, Jacer. Jacer will be joining us shortly. Hey, Jacer, uh, which hero did okay. you want to control? Ribby. Welcome, Jacer. Jacer will be joining yeah. us shortly. Hey, Jacer, uh, which hero Count Cog Pox. Hey, Fubar Jr.'s here. Oh, by the way, if you're, uh, if you got the Twitch volume, you may want to just mute it. Yeah, you'll miss out on yeah, the cool royalty-free music, but at least you won't hear an echo. <laughs> All right. It's the old turn your radio down thing. Be right back. I just put my earphones in. I'm just wondering if you can still hear me. Hello? All right, I'm back. What was that you're saying? Well, I could barely hear my phone, so I put my earphones in. I was just wondering if you could still hear me. Oh, yeah. You're coming through great. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. So that blue figure there is the elf. Perfect. All right. Still hearing an echo. Yeah, we took care of it. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for the feedback. Yeah. I got a bunch of fans going, too. So, yeah, if there's any problems with the sound or the stream, you please let me know. Also going to do a quick camera check here. So we got that. All right, are you familiar with the Frozen Horror, Zirian? Uh, just from watching your 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 vods, you know, I, I know a little, you know, just what you've done so far. That's about oh, it. Cool. I don't remember what the stats are for for the elf though. If we could go over oh, that yeah. before we start, of course. You can update your character sheet here. Okay, so the elf is actually the last in line. Make sure this is right. So now when we were playing with Sir Death, we kind of like backtracked. Okay, so the elf has... Let's see, he's got a long sword and a crossbow. Or she does, whichever. So longsword and crossbow, um, so three attack, dice, and diagonal. For armor, she's got bracers, 
shield and helmet. So that's five defend dice. Started with six body points, but down to three at this time. And she also has 60 gold coins. Oh, plus 173 gold coins. Okay, so two. I didn't. I forgot to add them. Um, for potions, she's got a healing 1d6. Two of those. Okay. A potion of alchemy, which allows you to turn one piece of equipment into 100 gold coins, basically. Mm-hmm. I put down that she had a swordsman, but I believe that swordsman has been killed, so he is no longer in the picture. Alright, and as far as spells, let's see. Okay, so yeah, the elf had water spells, and all three of them have been used up. Okay. But she does have a couple other things. Um, she has Disarm and Capture skill card that can be used anytime. Except, well, the specific situation is when you roll enough to kill a monster, you can choose instead to capture them for information. So take a prisoner. Right, I do remember that. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And then uh, Alchemist item Fire Lance, which is a single use. It's basically just like um, Fire Wrath. And that should be it. All right. Okay. All right, let's check our other heroes. <laughs> So Jacer will be joining us soon. Strange bus is not coming. Okay. Oh, Elverg is here. Welcome. Yeah, if anybody else in the chat wants to join, we've got three hero slots open. We've got a Barbarian, we've got a Dwarf, and we've got a Guardian Knight. And if you have your own dice, that helps, but otherwise I can roll for you. No problem. I do have dice. Excellent. Just out of curiosity, are you using remake dice, classic dice, homemade dice? <laughs> I'm actually using okay. Hero Escape dice. Um, uh, they're I care they're the same, but yeah, yeah. Guess um, I I did I did order the the remake. You know, uh, I I had the game you know back in the day, but I cannot find it. I've been looking all over for that dumb thing, and I cannot find it. Oh, man. So I ended up just ordering another copy of the the remake. You know, the new one. So it according to shipping, it'll be here Tuesday. So <laughs> there you go. I'm waiting on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you experiencing the heat wave in your part of the country or the world right now? Well, I'm, I'm in North Dakota. Uh, we our weather kind of fluctuates. Like it'll be 95 degrees one day, and you know, and, and like today it's like 70. So right. it, it really depends. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like <laughs> so, it, just wait a while. Pretty much, yeah. That's that's how we do things around here. You know, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> it's gonna change. So. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty typical. Right. Yeah, but it's. You know, we get a lot of a lot of wind, a lot of rain, mm -hmm. a lot of snow, of course. Yeah. Not usually in August, but it happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess while we're waiting, I can go over the story storyline here just got to figure out where I put my quest book one second here mm -hmm. All right.
So yeah, the story so far. This is the Frozen Horror Quest 5, The Deadly Depths. Throughout Ice Mountain, alarms are sounding, and the evil servants of the Frozen Horror are awakening. Your way into the stronghold becomes harder after this. The Chaos Warlock known as Vylor awaits you in this quest. Enter through the Iron Door and search for the Wooden Exit Door. You have far to go before you confront the Frozen Horror itself. Consider hiring mercenaries on the rest of the quests, for the dangers may be too great for you to survive without help. And that's just what you did. <laughs> yeah. Now, at this present time, let me just show you the situation that we're in. So... We've got the dwarf, uh, the mercenary scout. Let's see who's got the scout. I'm just having to look here who is controlling. Okay, the scout is under the control of the knight, who formerly Jacer was controlling. So there's the scout in gray. We've got the dwarf who is, let's see, the dwarf is down to four body points. The knight is down to six. Barbarian is down to six as well. Now in the next room, you've got a bunch of monsters. You've got two yetis. One of them has been wounded, so he has lost one body point. He's got four left. We got two polar war bears. So basically, when the heroes entered this uh, room of ice, the ice started to crack. The monsters burst forth. Uh, they killed a bunch of ice goblins or ice gremlins, uh, but these other tanks were left over, and so they just started spilling out of the room. Now, the where I put those skulls, um, traps were discovered. And let's see what else. Right, but they haven't been disarmed or anything. Nope. Right. Nope. Yeah. At this present time, the scout is able to disarm traps. So is the dwarf. And the knight has a toolkit. So does the barbarian. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have a toolkit. <laughs> yeah. Now, the uh, if you can see in this golden room up in the upper uh, northeast, those doors collapsed sealing everybody inside now the barbarian showed up late but he was able to uh throw a bunch of potions together to create a vortex that teleported him in just in time i do remember that <laughs> okay so you're all caught up actually that's awesome i do remember that i don't i don't remember those doors collapsing but i do remember the teleporting portal yeah well that's why i did it well the other thing is he was gonna have to just like run all the way there but, right, and you were really really short on time. I remember that too, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to do a hard stop at 10 o'clock. So, yeah, we're getting started a half hour late here, but that's all right. Okay, well, I, since the other heroes are going to be late, I think we're just going to go ahead and get started, you and me. And okay. we'll just control the... We'll have you control all the heroes. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. So, But it sounds like you're pretty pretty familiar with the game, so that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, unless you don't want to. I mean, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're also consulting the chat. The people in the chat can help us. They can make suggestions. They can buy uh, potions for the heroes. They can buy stuff for the bad guys, too. Using their gold. I'm just going to pull out a couple more tokens that are a little more appropriate for what we're seeing here. Oh yeah. And his, his name, name is Johnny. Johnny. Oh, Ribby. <laughs> Ribby just cashed in the John Cena sound alert, but it was like strobe echoing, like over the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I I couldn't even see him, but but he was there. Okay, so the knight has a healing plus four. He's got an elixir that heals one per turn for up to five turns. Oh, he's got one left. So he's actually in the process of being healed. So on his next turn, he'll be healed one body point. Then he's got a plus four that he could use any time. The barbarian has a scroll of warmth that can heal three. He's got a warmth potion. So that's one, unless it's ice damage, then it's two. 
Um, he's got luck. He's got dodge and trip. Heroic sacrifice. The dwarf has a healing plus four. Yeah. I'll just keep track of that stuff. Um, yeah. Wasn't that before I am now, says Elver. Nice. Okay, well... Okay, last chance for now. I mean, as we as we play, we'll just go ahead and add people in as they join. But does anybody in the chat hearing my voice right now, live on Twitch, want to uh, join in the quest? If so, just let me know. Let me know your preference for a hero. If you can get into the Discord with audio, that that helps. But we have played with people who are not in the Discord audio quest talk. Anybody? Oop. Okay, I guess I guess not. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the barbarian. All right, can you see my dice dice box there? Probably will in a minute. Yeah. Kind of dusty. Okay. So he's got six. So the barbarian. Um, okay. What should he do? So he is in the room, of course. Okay. And all the enemies are outside the room? Yeah. There's the barbarian. Let me just remind the Discord. Well, I mean, my thought is uh, use the old door blocking technique. Right, but it'd be nice if we could draw them all into the same room with us, so we could just take yeah. turns hitting them. Oh, you know? oh no! I think I think actually you're onto something because that's kind of the way the guys were going towards the end of the last quest, anyway. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. When you're uh, when you're oh. watching, do you ever you ever find yourself like shouting at the screen like, "No, don't do that! <laughs> Why don't you guys do <laughs> all this?" All the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now's your chance. Okay, so you're thinking uh, they should draw the monsters in. Yeah, I'm thinking just to, uh, like, head back to that corner just to kind of line up all the heroes, you know? Okay. So are you but, thinking, like, flatten them against the wall so that the monsters have to go around? Like a gauntlet, or...? Yeah, well, I was thinking if the barbarian goes to the corner, the elf on her turn can, you know, sneak around between those traps, and then they could just kind of, you know, line them up. But... So are you thinking like that? Well, I'm at the other corner, the, down below, next to the other characters. Oh. One, two, three. Like that? So they're all along the bottom. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay, but yeah. 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 Because of the trap Zirian, it may be a good strat to fall back and Hodor in the green room. Hmm. Oh, in this room with the table over here? That's Fubar's thought. Oh, just retreat to that other room. Yeah, I think that's what. Oh he's wait, saying. the monsters don't. The monsters won't spring the traps, right? So that they're, they're not going to help us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can stand on those those uh, squares with no problem. So I guess it doesn't really matter what room we fight them in, does it? Well, would you rather die in this room or that room? <laughs> <laughs> Zargon there. Well, my thought is if you get, you know, you can, you need somewhere to run to, you know. Fall back. I mean, you'd have to make your stand eventually in that gold room because there's nowhere else to go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So well, let's see what the monsters do. 
right, he does that, and do you think he should search for anything? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I, I assume the secret doors and stuff have already been searched for, and well, actually, yeah, you know, we don't want to. Actually, not. I don't think everything's been searched for yet in this room. Okay. Well, let's. Yeah, we can search for secret doors. Obviously, traps have been. Well. <laughs> Not according to my records. Oh. But then how did we... I thought, that, I thought oh, that's where the because... marks came from. <laughs> yeah, no, actually it was because um, people stepped on those and they either got hit or it missed. So actually I think we just discovered those by accident. Okay, I guess I don't remember that. Um... I, I did it more for the benefit of the stream. All right, so she should search for traps. Yeah, let's search for traps. Why not? Okay. The square looks extremely dangerous. So does that one. So does that one. And so does that one. So there's actually four that look extremely dangerous. Oh boy. And one of them, at least one of them has proven so as a swinging axe trap, which continue to be dangerous even after triggered. Let's see. I'm going to have another question mark tile here. Oh, actually, what am I saying? I printed enough of them out. I should have a whole bunch of them here. Okay. All right. After the barbarian. Oh yeah, and his skills are dodge and trip and luck, which are could be and heroic sacrifice. So those could be pretty helpful. And he's got a potion of battle rage. Of course, I guess potions can be activated any time, so there's that. But my yeah. thought would be probably once those monsters start coming in potions and magic are all over the table okay so the dwarf is next eight all right formerly strange bus was controlling this character as well so he's got four attack and four defense, just like a Chaos Warrior. And let's see, okay. magic resistance, he's got healing. Yeah, he doesn't really have any special abilities. He does have keen hearing, but a lot of good that does right now. Because we don't have, we're not exploring. So what should he do? Well, um, my thoughts are the dwarf is more of a tanky character. He should probably be in the front of the line uh, to, okay, you know, take most most of the damage. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's got four body points compared to the barbarian six, but he does have a healing plus four, so he won't get killed immediately. Plus, if he's next to somebody, that person can hand him a potion. True. Right. Okay, so we'll move him one, two, three, like that. Or are you thinking, I mean, what do you think? Should we hold up in this room or should we fall back to the green room? Um, I mean, if those traps aren't going to help us, I think, you know, we don't want to hit them by mistake, but. There's five of you. Now, you also got to keep yeah. in mind in the other room, there's the table. Yeah, that's going to be in the way, too. If somebody's blocking the door, they could attack and move out of the way, but the next person in is going to bear the brunt of the monsters. Yeah, there's a lot to think about. <laughs> okay, so sh should the dwarf be right here, then? Above the barbarian? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. All right, does he want to search for anything? I mean, secret doors if we haven't yet. No secret doors. Okay. All right. Okay, night.
Eight. Eight. All right. So where should the knight be? The knight should just uh, hey. stand his ground. Jay, sir, welcome. Jay, sir, welcome. Are you taking control of the knight? I'm trying to. I'll probably be home in about 15 minutes. Oh, you're on your way. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Drive safe. Drive safe. Okay. Well, we got you at six That's body points. Six. Yeah, I just have him stand his ground and wait for them to move and then see what happens next. Let them come. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Excellent. I just got to find out what I did with my pencil. Sorry, guys. Let me just grab my pencil here one moment. All right, and we're back here in Hero Quest fans, getting a late start, but playing the Deadly Depths. And we got Jacer, we got Zirian. Have you guys met? No. All right, well, now you have. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the knight stands his ground. And I guess he, he'll be healed now. Up to seven body points, which is his maximum. And that elixir is now used up. But he does still have his plus four healing he could use in a pinch. Okay. Yep. And now should his scout do anything? Now scout is only two body points. Yeah, I think he's good where he's at. I'm not so sure. I'm thinking well, I guess if Yeah, he can be attacked from at least two fronts. Yeah, I keep forgetting the I keep forgetting about those question marks are not blocks. Um yeah, he he should probably step through the door maybe so we have some cover yeah i mean you could try to disarm a trap but here's what happened you, you may have seen the vod where he he rolled a black shield he failed and he was killed by the swinging axe trap right <laughs> it's, yeah because it's two hits and it's like he's only got two body points so it's a bad deal it's bad luck but <laughs> yeah well i was thinking we could keep that the do the space by the door open then on his turn he could like step in take a shot step back out again um, I don't uh, know if that's allowed, though. It's not allowed. Like, if there's no monster standing there. Okay, well, maybe not then. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of D&D &D where you can... Well, yeah, move attack mode, there's, yeah. a there's a question... Well, actually, no, no. I guess it's been revealed that that's not the case. I was wondering, this new rogue Air of Elethorn character that they revealed at Gen Con, finally. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that, yeah. that that was going to be one of his abilities. He, he could attack, move attack. But apparently, it, it's not the case. He can do an extra attack, but it's still either move action or action move but yeah um let's see okay so the scout moves out oh. of there what's that well i was thinking if if a monster you know gets to that back row he could shoot them shoot them in but the monster's probably just going to run up to the door and try to swing at him too so yeah and there's no attacks of opportunity <laughs> in here yeah. so that doesn't really help us yeah well and the scout has no diagonal attacks so if he I don't know, should everybody like readjust? Like so that there's only one square in between? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, because if there's a monster here, he can attack the scout and nobody else. If he's here, he can right. attack the knight. Well, I was thinking the elf, like on my turn, I was going to move, you know, um, so there's only one square between oh, okay. the elf and the door, you know what I mean? So yeah. no monster could stand. And you, it's, well, you're out of healing, but... Well, except you, you said I had a one d six healing. Yeah, you or got two. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. I'm just thinking like the 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 line. I mean, you could. Well, if you're adjacent to another hero, but a, you're adjacent to a monster, you can't pass a potion. Is the other thing. Oh right. Yeah. Now that's that's something that uh, Milton Bradley decided back in the day, because when we played it, we just said, "Yeah, you can pass a potion to anybody." It's like, here you go. But I guess the monster, like, they do the keep away thing and you can't get it. Okay. Well, all right. So it's um, it's your turn as the elf. Okay. 
Yeah, it's so like I was saying, just step back, you know, uh, like down one and over one, so there's a space between okay. the door and what, me. What and is then. your role, by the way? Oh, I mean, it's only two spaces, so I didn't think for a guy. I'll roll. Um, I rolled an eight, two fours. <clears throat> okay. Thanks. Like so. Thanks, Food Bar Junior. Drinks all around. Yeah, right, like that. Exactly. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay, so yeah, right there. Bonus potion, I like it. So, is that for a specific hero, or... Um... Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's cashing in. Okay, so I guess we'll give him to whoever needs him. Wow, look at that guy. Look at him go. Oh, there's three of them. Very Four generous of you, thanks. Okay, so it's one potion. Healing half filled, so that's two body points. Potion of healing four. Okay. Magic aptitude. Oh, too bad. Cast two spells on your turn rather than one, but that's assuming you have the spells to use. And then the fourth one. Potion of air walk. Enables a hero to walk on a cushion of air for one turn. Don't spring any traps. Well, that could come in handy. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Fubar. One for each hero. Can the Merc get a potion? Um, It would go to a hero, but I mean, the hero could give him one. I wouldn't have any problem with that. I think the way that, I mean, there was, the rules on it aren't clear, but I think the way Avalon Hill was saying with the animal companion, you give them a potion and they use it right away. But that the, the rationale was, oh, it's the, the wolf is just like lapping it up. <laughs> but I mean, a human could just, oh, you want me to use this? <laughs> I'll hang on to it. <laughs> so if you want, if you want to buy another one and give it to a mercenary, that's okay. If you've got gold left. Okay, so we've got these uh, we've got these extra potions. So we've got the two, the four, and then the air walk. How do you think we should divide these up? Let's see. The barbarian has. Speaking of Is potions, there... I have that uh, elixir on the night. It would heal his one last body point. I already took care of that. Five turns that elixir. Yeah. No, it's it's been used up. It it finally added that last. So you're at maximum for the night. Right. Okay. I yep. uh, I must have missed it. That's right. Yeah, so he chugs the elixir and he's back. Okay, so right now the knight has a plus four. The barbarian has a scroll of warmth that's plus three. Um, let's see. Dwarf has a plus four. And Elf has two 1d6s. So yeah. I say just give them to the Baryon and the Dwarf. You okay. give the, um, the half bottle to the Merc if you wanted to. Oh, so he come back exactly with two. That's actually a pretty good idea. Okay, so the scout will have heal plus two. Oh, Fubar, he rede redeemed another potion. Thank you, sir. Well, let's see what that one is. Poison! Oh, no! I'm going to ignore <laughs> this <laughs> because it's a bonus <laughs> potion, so we're not giving you bad ones. Okay. See how generous I am? Okay, Potion of Warmth. So that means it's two restored if it's ice damage. If it's anything else, it's just one. Someone else has one of those, right? Yeah. Uh, Strange Bust, the Barbarian, has it. So I could give him another Warmth mm -hmm. Potion. Woo! Hey! Woo! Got Vorlani. Just followed us. Thank you for following. 
here on HeroQuest fans, live on Twitch, not live on YouTube. Okay, all right, so we've got the half filled, taken care of. Uh, who gets the plus four one, do you think? Um, I would say the barbarian. Again, okay. And I'm going to write your name on the elf so I don't get confused. Zirian, or Darth Zirian. Do you have any channel or um, website that you'd like to plug, by the way? I, I do not. I, I lurk, I, and I watch vlogs. I don't really stream or nothing. Oh, that's all right. Lurking's good. Oh, I forgot to mention, Jacer's Knight still has his stalwart, which would allow him to come back with one body point. And he has his knight's challenge for wandering monster incidents. So, but yeah, it's a form of healing. Okay, and then who gets the potion of airwalk? Uh, I mean, I would. Um... Let's see, float over traps. Probably the elf. Yeah, I'm standing right next to a bunch of traps. It might come in handy. <laughs> okay, so we'll say airwalk. Yeah, and since there's, we're starting to really build up a lot of potions, you just remind me. Uh, and I'll remind you what you've got. And then since he's the only magician, you want to just give him the magical ap aptitude, even though you really can't use it right now. Sure. Do those spells come back, or like you have to like rest for a day or something for those spells to come back? I normally, how that works. Normally, they come back in between quests. There is one potion oh, that allows quests, you okay. to restore lost spells, but I mean nobody's found okay. it yet. Okay. Just note the date here. Cool. Plus four should go to a tank. Absolutely. Yeah, sorry, Fubar. I guess you pretty much just agreed with what we did, which is awesome. Okay. So, um, Elf, go ahead. Or do we have you in the right spot where you wanted to be? Yeah, yeah. We, I'm just going to move and, and wait, you know, wait for him to come at us. So. All right. You going to do any actions? No, I don't think so. We're done. We're, we're good. Okay. All right. In that case, Sargon's turn. Anybody, Sargon's turn. Anybody going to buy anything? Yeah, it's like, I'm not going to do the Joker impression. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, okay so we got monsters we got monsters and we got monsters hmm well i guess they all can move freely let's see so yeti's got eight spaces all right so the wounded yeti he's he's angry he's going in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going up to attack the dwarf. And he's attacking with his normal three. Dwarf, roll your defend dice. Okay, that's one skull. And let's see, he defended, defends with... Four. Ooh, lucky him. Ching! Blocked it. Alright, other Yeti. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Target of Opportunity is attacking the Scout. One Skull. You just step right between us. Yep. It's one Skull. Well, let me check the chat here real quick. So we've got a good number of people here. Thanks, everybody. Okay. So one skull, and then the scout 
I always gotta check. Defends with two. Ching. He defends with three. Oh, you're right. I was looking at his attack dice. My bad. Thank you. There's one block. Ching. Okay, so you got two. All good. All right. So six squares movement for the war bear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's the end of uh, Zargon's turn. So all the monsters are in the room. Those are polar war bears, right? They're the ones with the two attacks. Yep. Four and Perfect. four. Yeah, they always kill me on the app. They always hit four hits both times. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nasty. Just out of curiosity, do you play it straight or do you use some variation on the two multiple attack rules? It kind of depends. I, I've been just kind of playing around and trying to test and see what works best, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, it, I don't know. I haven't really made a decision. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the original way, it wasn't quite clear. Um, I guess everybody kind of presumed that what they intended was the first attack you defend normally, the second attack you can't do anything. What they were saying in Into the Northlands yeah. is you could just, like, whatever the first roll is, you can just wait and roll the second time. But you're well, still on the app, on the app it does them both at the same time, and it says choose one to defend. So Oh, you know. interesting. Okay, so that yeah. would be just like if you decide, like if they miss the second time, you go, yeah, I'm gonna say it accounted for the first. I'll one. just defend the first one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, that's that's not too bad. The way I've been doing it is the way the draft that's notes the way did, I which was it. at the end of the turn. You just so it's like it's as if they rolled eight dice, but it's true. There's pros and cons either way. But who knows if the app is the official right way either. <laughs> yeah, because it, it changes. But I mean, they did put the Yeti hug break in there, and that's not mentioned anywhere else. Yeah, I noticed I noticed on the single quest, like if you get take damage by the Yeti, it, does, it doesn't it does do the hug. So you don't have to worry about it hugging you and, yeah. and not, yeah. And, yeah. So it's, cause yeah. I, I wanted to, that's one of the things I wanted to test. It's like, well, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to take damage and see what happens. And he just attacked again, like he never hugged me, so. Yeah. Yeah, which is just like Zargon pulling his punches because it's supposed to be an automatic thing. Like, it's not a choice. Like, hmm, do I want him to hug him or not? It's just disabled. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like uh, he's holding you so that the other monsters can come beat you up some more. Now, one right. thing that was never covered is what if you're being hugged by one Yeti and another one comes by and hits you, does damage, you'd be hugged by two Yetis. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a video game. You're just like, ah! So now you gotta They're hugging each up. other and you're in between them. <laughs> yep. Bear hug. Sandwich. Monster sandwich. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back to uh, Barbarian. Hero's turn. Eleven. Eleven. All right. So let's see. I'm going to check out his potions. Group hug. So Battle Rage means two attacks for turn per turn as long as there are no monsters as long as there are monsters in sight as soon as there are no monsters in the barbarian's line of sight the effect wears off no oh, that sounds like a good one to use that sounds like an excellent one to use especially because monsters are rolling defense after the second attack or the the total so what do you think should he stand his ground or should he move into position Because if he moves he, forward, he's going to block the knight. But right now, let's see. Does he have a diagonal weapon? Nope, he just has a battle axe. So he'll be putting himself into harm's way. The knight's fine. He has a crossbow. 
That's true. But I'm just thinking that where should the barbarian go for maximum effect? Because he's in the corner. Probably here. to take on a. Either to take on a war bear or the yeti. Yeah, the maybe yeti. the war bear first. Yeah, because the war bears have six body points. The yetis have five, although that one's got four. So maybe go for the wounded yeti first. And if he finishes him Sounds off, you can go for the other. Okay. So one, two, three. Drink the potion of battle rage. Ooh, glug, 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 glug. Okay, so he gets two attacks per turn. Let's see, what is there anything else? I have the power do? of Grey Skull. I have the power. <laughs> okay, so two attacks. So that's two fours. So really, he's just like a war bear now. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so he attacks the Yeti. I got two. Okay, two skulls. And hmm, we'll just see what he gets. Well, nah, two skulls. Let's see. Yeah, it won't kill him anyway. So we'll just do the second. Two more skulls. So four skulls. And then he gets his defensive roll. So four skulls, and he's got three defense. Ching ching. So he took two hits of damage. So he's got two left. And he gets taller because he's standing on all those tiles. Like a war bear, but not as fuzzy. Well, no, just as fuzzy. Oh, no, he has the high ground. We're all in trouble. Yep. I hate him. Okay. All right. Try not to sweat over, sweat all over everything here. Dwarf. Five. Okay, does the dwarf have any enhancing potions? Not really. So he's just going to attack with his battle axe. Attack the wounded yeti, might as well, right? Sounds good. All right. Three skulls. Let's move the camera all over the place. Yet he defends with three. Ching! Two more hits. And he's dead. Could you put the dice tray on that second camera? It's kind of far away and it's hard to see it anyways. You could just leave the one where it is. Oh, you're absolutely right. Got started in kind of a hurry anyway. But yeah, we're not even using that side of the board. So let's see. Oops. He can move that dwarf up two spaces now. Oh, okay. okay. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, because then he can hit and move away. Which just confused what camera that is. The one that zoomed out. Okay. Tripod. Okay. Actually, I think I will just toggle that one off. And this one. Let's get that out of there. Uh, 
All right. Is that good enough? Can you uh, actually see what's on the faces of the dice, or should I? Well, maybe I could get a better shot. Yeah. That's it was better. tilted and zoomed in a little bit. Kind of diagonal. The second camera's black. Oh, there we go. Wow, this thing is really hot. That's better. Just adjust it a little bit here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Let's bring our light back. Better? Beautiful. Yeah, the other camera could be moved down just a tish because our heads are kind of cut off. Precisely what I wanted. <laughs> Oops. I said I wasn't going to do the voice. <laughs> The Yeti has died. It's like, gee, it doesn't sound very broken up about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> now I can turn no, him can... into a mummy. Yeah, he can just make more. He's fine. Yep. Kill all you want. We'll make more. Yeah. It's like we need to just figure out how to hack in there and add our own voice files. Or just mute it. Well, I guess you can do you can do that already. You can just turn the voice volume down. Just comment it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can't buy a bucket from downtown. <laughs> All right. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. How could you? How could you uh, be alive in the '90s and not know about it? Okay, so oh, yeah, NBA Jam was like the best. Yeah, it certainly was, and still is. People are still still making mods for it to this day. <laughs> okay, so the dwarf moved up. Um, he did his thing, and so now Jacer the Knight. Jacer, are you with us? Or are you still traveling? No, I'm ba I'm home. Um, Excellent. So they uh, just uh, moved the knight up one. All right. You must have rolled uh, at least a one. Yeah. Am... Out of yep. two dice chances are good. <laughs> yeah. Yep, got a three. So I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's like one both of the dice bounce off the table and into the wood chipper. I got two halves, does that count? <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> the, the chunk that's left, is there a pip on it? No. <laughs> Read it off to me. Okay, so knight. Uh, shoot the cross. Shoot the crossbow at the other yeti. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so you're targeting that monster there. Yep. Oh, do you, you're yeah. You can you roll. Your, I was gonna say, do you have your dice yet? <laughs> you carry carry them in your shirt pocket. Three white shields. Sorry, you're you're not close enough to uh, hit him with a chair or anything, so I'm just gonna have to say sorry. <laughs> even the even the mist in the eyes would be kind of hard at this distance. You might hit the elf. <clears throat> okay, so complete miss. Just kind of whizzed past. Oh. Him. It it parted his hair down the middle, but he just <laughs> he's still angry. All right. I guess have the uh, the scout take a swing at him. All right. Scout takes a swing. Maybe scout. he's distracted. But... <laughs> yeah. Now that is two. These are two attack dice. Well, wait. Are you attempting an uncommon feat? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. See if he's distracted. Maybe he'll defend with one less. 
Okay. All right. So oh shoot! It. I thought the scout had a cr scout had a crossbow. I, that was no, bad. no, that would be the crossbowman. Crossbowman, obviously. No, okay. Yeah. That's okay. why I was trying. Want him outside the room? He could just shoot into the room, but yeah, that didn't work. He succeeded. Okay. So the enemy defends with one less. You got a surprise, surprise attack. Surprise. One skull. So he only defends with two. Nothing. So he takes a hit. All right, Elf. Lyrian. Well, I think I should just attack the monster next to me, huh? All right. All right, and you are attacking with the longsword. Yeah, so that's three dice. Mm -hmm. All right, I was about to roll for you, but go ahead. Oh, yeah, it's fine. If you want to roll, that's fine. I don't have a camera, so. Well, I mean, we're on the honor system. Can I trust him? Oh, okay. Well, Can I trust him, ladies I... and gentlemen? <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm trusting him. <laughs> He's you fool! A you just cheater. I I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually Zargon in disguise. Yes. All right. Oh, I stabbed I myself rolled. by accident. <laughs> it's like, hey, I rolled two buffalo. skulls out of three dice. Okay, two skulls. Deceptive Zargon. My agents are everywhere, heroes. <laughs> okay, so no defense. So two more hits. Nice. It's still up. The thing must have a lot of hit points. The thing is, even if I could see your dice, they might be loaded. So, you know, there's just no way. To, <laughs> there's just no way to know. No way to know. You've just you've now, recorded um, you've recorded you've pre-recorded video of you rolling like really great rolls, and you just like yeah, play right. that clip. <laughs> like, wait a minute, that's the same clip. Let's see that in instant replay. Yeah. So like you know before that before the Hero Quest tournament, all the dice have to be inspected. They got to use the casino dice. They got to change them out every. Every thirty minutes or whatever, <laughs> you got to throw them palm up uh, again, so it bounces off the far wall of the padded, like little craps table thing that they got set up. <laughs> they pat you down. Um, can I take a step back so um, the uh, yep. the knight or whatever it is can help me out if I need it? Like if the thing runs up to me. All right. So you're just stepping back one square. Yeah. Okay. Step figure we could stay in a line that might make things easier all right sounds good okay i end my turn zargon now feel the wrath of bad voice acting <laughs> <laughs> i guess he doesn't do the laugh i just made that up myself but you know like it works super fast laugh okay um hmm the guy that just attacked me or the the weak one? Ah, decisions, decisions. If, if this were the app, he would definitely attack the scout. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to attack the scout. If it was the app, he would run over and attack the barbarian first no matter what. Because <laughs> that's what the app seems to do. Well, I know it used to, but it just, does it still do that? Like attacks in an alphabetical order? So he... Just totally whiffed. So he just like thunk, and then he just like <laughs> he hit the door jam. Yeah, blood in his eyes, which is fitting because that's where his hand actually is—is is right on the door jam. <laughs> yep, yep. I do like that pose though. Like you know, he's just—he's got his hand reached out, like he's like grabbing on, like kapow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old like wrestling move where they put the hand on the head and then you just like hit your own hand, like oh. Got him again. <laughs> Got him again. Okay. All right. Enough of that foolishness. Okay. So uh, this polar war bear here is going to attack the dwarf first. Three skulls. Dwarf defends with four, I believe. Yes. Oh, it's cockeyed. Come on. 
Okay. Cha-ching! But then he took one damage. So dwarf is down to three. Alright, hmm. He could direct his second attack at the barbarian. I guess that's kind of what I wanted to do. Yeah, just go ahead. Just because it's cool that I can do that, even though it's not as strategic. Attacking the barbarian. Yeah, spread the love. Yep, one skull. Spread the hate. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Alright. And he defends with four. Ching! Blocked it. Hmm. The other polar war bear. Let's see, we've got the knight, we've got the elf. I could attack whoever I want. Knight has seven. Elf has only three. Dwarf has only three. Can't get to him. Alright. Elf coming for you. Figures. One, two, three, four. And also protect my other monster there a little bit. So you'll have to brave those traps. Oh, by the way, there is another rule that I found when I was looking at the uh, draft notes last night that they intended. You can do a double jump. So actually, all those times that we were playing and we like accidentally jumped over two squares, it's part of the part of the rule. You can jump over huh. two squares in a row, like straight over them. But you have to. Uh, let's see, what is it? I think you roll. It's either you roll one dice or two dice. I'm gonna double check. I really want to know because I, it, I know if you get a white shield, you. I think. I think you either have to get a white shield to. A, I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> I think white shield makes you succeed. So if you yeah. roll two of them, I would assume you just succeed both. Yeah, like if you get any. So just check here. But I assume if you fail the first one, then you you know, there's no need to roll the second one. <laughs> yeah. Double jump. Okay, and it, in addition to jumping traps, as in the game system, heroes in the struggle for the Elven Kingdom. <laughs> but we can apply it anywhere, may attempt to leap across two spaces at once. This is called a double jump. In order to attempt a double jump, the hero rolls a single combat die. Okay, there we go. If he rolls a white shield, he has made the jump. Okay, so one white die, white shield is success. If not, he falls short one space. We must deal with whatever he's attempting to jump over. Yeah, it's kind of a cool... So what about the idea. second space then? Oh, you just roll one white shield for both spaces? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would think you'd have to re roll for the second one. Yeah, this is what they came up with. So there's really no difference then, huh? <laughs> well, the way you'd normally do it is you jump over the first space, and as long as you didn't roll a skull, you'd go over it. But you'd land on the second space automatically. So let's say there was two traps in a row, or you thought there were two traps in a row. You try to jump over both of them. And if you fail, you just hope that that first square was safe. But it might not be. Okay. Well, if that ever presents itself, I'll let you guys do it. Okay. So, uh, all, right. all right. So now my turn attack. for my last last monster here. Roll your attack dice. Um, one skull. I'm gonna roll okay. again. I guess to do. Oh, because you get two attacks, that's right. Uh, two skulls, so three total. Go for it. Three total? Alright, so... I'm probably going to want to defend the second one. Now you get... you. Well, the way I'm doing it is you're applying your defend roll to the entire... To deal. both? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got three to defend against. Alright. Well, I rolled two white shields. Cha -ching. So I'm taking the damage. Yep. One hit. Okay, so you should be down to two body points now. Two hit points, yep. Yeah. 
All right, I think that's it. Okay, so barbarian. Eight. Welcome, Janal and Chimera Red. Hopefully you guys are real and not bots. I'm just paranoid now because of all the bot <laughs> bot situations we've had in the past, but welcome to HeroQuest fans. Okay, so what should the Barbarian do? I'm thinking he should keep monsters in sight, of course. Just, um... Attack the one that's falling at him. Yeah, it's, it's too risky for the others. Yeah, go for the go for the war bear. Even though he's at full strength. Yeah, that's, it's eight dice, so at least it's something. Yeah, e evil, <laughs> evil and good are, are on equal footing this time. Okay. Oh, four skulls. Read them and weep. See, that's not enough to kill him, so let's just do it again. Four and three, <laughs> seven skulls. Wow. <laughs> Seven skulls. Okay. And then. Good job, Barbarian. Yeah. Battle Rage. Yeah, and his, his defensive role is still only three. Ching! And he gets hit by six skulls. That should kill it. <laughs> Got him. Alright. That was an heroic effort. Not seen such bravery. All right, uh, should he? That barbarian three spaces to block that other door so the monsters can't get out of his line of sight. We need to keep him from escaping. One, two, three. The emperor has something special planned for them. <laughs> Good, our first catch of the day. <laughs> All right. You know what time it is. Okay. All right, next hero, dwarf. For the long beards, ten. Okay, but the question is, how is he going to hit anybody? Now he yeah, does. I was wondering that too. He does have a dagger, but it's only one. Uh, unless, well, he doesn't have any good potions to give anybody. Toss the dwarf. Tell the elf. Well, if you, but if you tossed him, he's going to be in the path of those uh, traps. Traps. Yeah. I have an interesting proposal. I'm not saying you have to, but what if he runs forward in his um, uncommon feet? Uh, see, it's going to be super, yeah, yeah, because he can go through this Push path. Push somebody out of the way. Well, I was thinking like he grabs this swinging axe trap and he flings it into the monster. <laughs> Oh face. boy! <laughs> but now, if he fails, he's going to get hit by it. Right? Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Just throwing that out. Okay, so you don't you don't think it's worth the risk? Fifty percent chance. I mean, <laughs> here I am it's suggesting tempting. suggesting the dangerous things to try. Yeah, I. I wouldn't do that if it was my character, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's like risk his well-being just to harm the enemy, but possibly at great cost to himself. Well... Right. I mean, if he was about to die, maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, it's his last ounce of strength. Well... Ugh. Should he just get closer, or... What do you think? Yeah, maybe move down, because I, I want to move back again. Um, so and if we could try to box the enemy in, you know, that'd be nice. But I mean, that scout is probably done for though. So one, two, like so. Yeah, unless he wants to go all the way to the corner, and then I can just pass through him on my turn. But I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Okay, we'll move him down there. He's got a potion to walk on traps. He'll be fine. Well, that's that's the elf. Yeah, I got that potion, but oh, I've stepped away from the Oh, I see what you mean. The elf could do the uncommon feat. Of course, he's floating in the air. Well, that's that's the interesting <laughs> thing. It says you can float over traps, so it's like you're floating under the trap. <laughs> so you're like laying down, <laughs> and you're like floating underneath it, like you're doing the limbo. You're, you're matrixing under it. <laughs> well, is is that is that 
axe trap still swinging? Like, at least you can see it coming and time it, right? Well, yeah, I guess you could imagine it any way you want to. Like, once it's once it's triggered, as opposed to just... Yeah, just as soon as you step on it, it's like, whew, here it comes. So if you're standing on the square, you're just, like, dodging it every few every few minutes. You're just like, whoa, whoa. oh, here it comes again. I can feel it. I was close. Oh, I'll just tie my shoe. Yeah. You're just in a crouch the whole time. Of course, then you could just, like, crawl your way. Okay. All right. So dwarf... Attack his ankles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So knight. Uh, attack uh, the war bear with the uh, long sword. All right, sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, I can attack diagonally. I forgot. Two skulls. Two skulls. Two hits. Two hits. Two hits. <laughs> There's one. Got more tiles here somewhere. One of these times I'm just going to bring out the body point counter. I basically just did a large version of the ogre body point counters. Of course, that'd be another camera. I just use, I just use small dice and just set it next to the... Oh. Like six Mini and, to, to one. Yeah. That's true. I guess uh, after that, I guess move the knight up one space. Just like, oh, there he is. Okay. All right, elf. And have the uh, scout attack oh. the other... Sorry, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack. Okay. You want to roll for him? You can roll. Okay. So You're doing all right. Thanks. Thanks. My cheating dice are <laughs> serving you well. I mean, <laughs> should have muted my mic. Okay. One skull. <laughs> Ching. Lock. He deflected it. And the uh, the Yeti has eight spaces of movement. That's right. Ah. All right, move the scout. Move the scout nine spaces. Nice. One, two, three, four. Oops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. It's going to be out of range. Strategic retreat. Nope. Street strategic withdrawal. Okay. Now it's time for the elf. Okay. So attack the guy in front of me, then I want to move after that. All right. So three attack dice, or unless you want to roll, it doesn't matter. I'm just rolling my defense once you're... Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, two skulls again. Yeah, I, I wasn't, like, getting impatient. Like, if he's not going to roll, I'm just going to... Okay, two, <laughs> two skulls. Yeah. Two out of three. It's like I don't like your roll, so I just roll, like, a worse roll and count that one. <laughs> what kind of jerk is this? Okay. Two skulls, so ching, and then... Damage. Oh, got one hit on him. All right. Okay, then uh, step back around next to the dwarf so I can attack diagonally if it goes up to him. All right. This is why they gave you extra skull tiles for this quest pack. <laughs> now for the elf quest pack, you definitely need them. Although, oddly, they did put... Um, skulls on both sides of the tiles. It's like what? So I guess there were even what? more than in the original. Huh. 
I guess if one side gets like Cheeto dust on it, you don't have to show it to the world. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. My, end my turn. My turn. It's all going to turn. Prepare to meet the unknown heroes. Okay. <laughs> I will make fun of you by making dad jokes on Twitter. <laughs> Not the same one. But I mean, just imagine all of his, his tweets like in that voice. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'll still buy your game. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Boom, boom. Maximum damage. Okay. Uh, we're both badly damaged. Alright, I think we're just gonna do double duty against the dwarf there. Three skulls, and we'll hit him again. Four skulls total. Ooh, that's. And he has four defense. Most unfortunate. Ching, and he gets three hits. <laughs> Oof. He's dead. And he's got a potion, though, which kicks in automatically. Comes back with four. Now, of course, Wait, I, could, I could kill him one, one more hit, but <laughs> uh, too bad I can't uh, move out of the way and hit him again. All right. Other monster. Hmm. It's probably not safe. So you go one, two, three, four, five to attack the knight. Since the scout has run away. Okay, so I moved in there. Attack the knight. Three skulls. Jacer. Uh, yeah, roll the six defend dice. Dang, I forgot you had six. <laughs> Should have attacked the elf. <laughs> well, I got five. How many did you get? Uh, you got to. I'm out. I'm outside. I don't have my dice. Oh, okay. that's why I said you can roll. Oh, I I didn't hear it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out with the dog right now. Oh, a snow dasher. Okay. Um, what did I say? Two, three. There's three hits, and you're rolling Ching, six Ching. dice to defend. Yeah, there's three defense. You blocked them all. Blocked them all, and pile drive them into that trap. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so you pile drive them. Let's see. Let's see if it actually. Throws him into the trap. Okay, it didn't, but you still pile drive him. Kabam! All right. Well, one dice is better than two, or one hit's better than two, but or not as good as two, but at least it's still a hit. Basically, what I would have done is I would have then rolled two dice on that square to see if he took the two hits. But... Oh, so he could have got hit three times. That would have been cool. <laughs> if it yeah. would have been a tombstone instead of just a regular pile driver. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> or a spinning pile driver. <laughs> brave, brave Scout Robin bravely ran away. <laughs> I missed that. No, it's a good one, Fubar. I noticed it. Yeah, must be a Monty Python fan. Could be. Could be. Okay. Um. All right. That's the end of my turn. So, Barbarian. Barbarian. Nine. Well, target of opportunity, go for the Yeti. Yeah. The Yeti! 
Still got his two attacks. His battle rage. Still rage. As long as he doesn't rage quit. Okay, so that's three. <laughs> battle rage quit. <laughs> and four total. Okay, it's so the monster defends. No defense. So four hits, he's dead. Nice. Boom. Explodes. Boom, shakalaka. I said I wasn't going to overdo the sound alerts, but... Fleshy stab. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Dwarf. Eleven. Or should he hit and move? Um, probably. He's only got four body points and no healing. Yeah, I could pass him one of my potions if he needed it. On your turn, of course. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure why I rolled the monster dice. Of course, I only have two hit points left, so I'm going to probably use one myself. <laughs> yeah, I rolled the wrong dice. Normally it wouldn't matter, but... Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, of course, I could just attack roll. him and then... One skull. Move further away so someone else can get in. Yeah. One skull, and he deflected it. Ching! Nice. Okay, so... Or not nice. No, we didn't want that. <laughs> nice for me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you want you want him to move uh, yeah, past you? Away. Or... You've only got... Well, you've got two healing potions. Of course, for all you know, they could just right. be ones. A one and a one. Right, because you have to roll a d6, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, the other heroes are going to step up and attack the thing, so it, it, he might be just fine where he is. Come up two spaces. That way, after the elf attacks with his longsword, he can jump in the corner and he's the lowest life. Okay, so you're going up two spaces? With the dwarf? That's or? my suggestion. Move him up two spaces. Sure. Okay. Consider it done. Alright, knight's turn. I shoot him. Okay. <clears throat> oh, does the knight have a crossbow? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Crossbow and a longsword. Just what you need. English can make it. Three skulls. It's the war bear. War bear, roll your defense dice. Nothing. <laughs> Dead. He died. He died. Loot the bodies, loot the bodies. No. <laughs> Alright, so Battle Rage is now worn off. It's pretty nice. Still, that was a very effective potion. Yeah, that was, that, was, yeah. that was good. Absolutely. Okay. Elf. Or, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Scout. Scout can move. <laughs> I guess the scout will come back since come the other back. door's uh, blocked. Brave scout, Robin. Just scouting. Yeah. Go back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to the door again. Back to her post. Okay, now it's the elf's turn. 
All right. I better move some or roll some movement dice, huh? Yeah, that'd be good. All right. I rolled a seven, a five, and a two. One, two, three, four, I can get just inside that room, I guess, right by the door. Like so? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want to search for anything? Sure. Let's search for. Have traps been searched for? I, I assume so. since that other door's open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's search for treasure. All right. Potion of healing. That light is a little bright. Hey. All right. So that is one red die. So I'm up to three of those now. Yep. Nice. All right. In my turn. Beamed a bonus monster for Zargon. Well, thank you. Now, if it were the app, he'd be like, for me. <laughs> See if any friends are in some dark corner. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. What's going to do here? Oh, yeah. When does that happen? On your turn then? or Whenever I want, but I kind of feel I like doing it now. Thinking, thinking that it gets uh, thought out. Gets thought out? Yeah, yeah, he just thawed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's logical. Just when you thought they were all. What out is of the? the uh, what's the wandering monster in this quest? Well, you guys would know it by now, but I'll go ahead and recheck. Was it mummies or? It was like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, it's two mummies. Two mummies. Two mummies. But okay. the bonus is one monster. So yeah, I, I could just do a mummy, but that's kind of boring. So let's see. It's gonna be. Let's see. There's one, two, three. All right. Let's just do a three. All right. The ice begins to crack again. Out comes a polar war bear. Okay, so that's the bonus monster. Um, you just moved. So actually, it's my turn, so he gets to move. Oh, great. One. Good thing two, I got that potion. Three, four, five. Right in your face. Three skulls. Roll your defend dice. I'm going to roll again. Oh yeah, two four, five, six. Okay, six combat, six skulls, six combat skulls. Sheesh. Um, I rolled one shield. Okay, so you take five damage. So I got my negative three health right now. You're dead. I well, you, died. No negative. I have a potion. Game. Yeah. Right, I know. <laughs> yeah. So just I just roll for the potion right away. Yeah. Okay. Um, I rolled a three. Okay. So I gained a health. <laughs> up to three. And I lost a health potion, so back to two. Alright, Barbarian. Back to your normal attacks. You've got four movement. Go in there and help him. Please. <laughs> Alright, wish is granted. One, two. I guess I'm effectively controlling him. Um, as I'm moving, I'm going to pass a potion of healing to the elf. So you've got a I, already, I still have two. I still have two of them. Oh, because it's at least two body points. Okay. Give me that back. <laughs> Just thought you had a friend. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Whatever. Keep, keep going. One more square and attack. 
Just checking to see what else he's got. Okay. All right, three skulls. He defends. Three hits. Good start. PSK said his philosophy for this game was treasure and fight, and we're definitely getting that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, dwarf. Eleven. Get in there, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. Let's see. There's no flanking Eight. bonus in this game, right? Well, that's a good point. I uh, I actually have designed some rules for that, but I just haven't implemented them yet. Yeah, the idea is you find the scrolls of battle and they teach you how to work together in more, <laughs> more uh, useful ways. I should probably yeah, do that. Too much d and I guess. Yeah, I should probably do that in the next quest because, yeah, it's like we're already in the midst of like the hardest quest, so we might as well use. Yeah, but, but the then same, the monsters I'm, will get that too. So. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's true as well. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with new house rules, but at the same time, like. You're pretty experienced already, so you could probably handle it. I'll just explain it. It could use an uncommon feat to do a flanking maneuver. You could. True. All right, so uh, if he's going to do an uncommon feat, so if he succeeds, then those three heroes are going to do one extra, or one, they're going to substitute one black die for their attacks against that monster as long as they are flanking. If he fails, they just don't get the bonus. So. Failed. What do you mean one what do you mean one black die? Oh, so the way I'd implemented it is this. So if you're surrounding a monster, um, use one of these. So there's like actually four skulls on here. Oh, it's just a different, yeah. a different, okay. Probability. Different dice. Okay. Yeah, so nice. instead of like rolling two white ones, you'd roll like that. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Just taking three damage. Oh. Did I forget to roll the attack? Keep me honest here. Oh, you're talking about the flanking bonus. Yeah, he hasn't actually attacked yet. Yeah, I don't think the dwarf has taken a swing yet. Just doing his normal attack. One skull. Jing! Monster defended successfully. Not the bonus. All right, Jacer. Should I roll for you? Uh, I, yeah, roll for movement. Eight. Eight. You want to go into the room where all the action's happening? Yes. Uh, or you could just step into the spaces. doorway. <laughs> Let's see, one, uh, no, two, three, move them six spaces and four, attack with the longsword. Five, six. You want to be on the left or the right side of the elf? The left side of the elf. Okay. With the long sword. One skull. No defense. Another hit. Okay. okay, scout. And you, you can bring him up. Uh, let's bring him up eight space Two, or three, four, eight four, spaces. Five, six, seven, eight. So he's can get close yep, to oh. oh, one more space. 
Well, he doesn't have a diagonal attack, but... Oh, that's right. Yeah. You just got a short sword. Okay. Alright, elf. Alright, well I'm gonna attack, and then I wanna step to the side so the other one can pass through me and get to be able to attack next turn. If there is a next turn. All right, so three attack dice. Here we go. I rolled two skulls. It seems to be my normal roll on those. Ching, and uh, got hit by another one. Let's see, what has he got so far? Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Yep, this guy's got one body point left. You're moving out of the way, you said? Yeah, just one step to the... What would that be? The east there, right in front of the door, so then the scout it can pass yep. through me and get to my, to my left. Yeah. yeah, what is it? Never eat sweaty walruses? Like that. Alright. Oh, now my back's turned. Now I'm going to get the backstab. <laughs> I'll use the backstab. You do the behind the back block. It all works out. <laughs> it's a zero quest. Yep. Just because you got a square base doesn't mean you can't rotate in your mind. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Take a swig of elixir here. Cheers, dead gamer. Pause that refreshes. Not a sponsored video. Okay. All right. After all that, um, my turn. Hmm. If I move and attack those two, of course, the dwarf is pretty weak. He killed the dwarf. So, um, should nobody... pass my potion before I moved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to? I mean, I kind of forgot he was so low on health. Um, yeah, if I if you would if you'll allow it. Okay, I'll allow it. Not very sporting of me, but. That's right. Or very supporting <laughs> of me. Yeah. Okay. So now you've only got one potion left. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attack the dwarf. Two skulls. Stack him again. One skull. So three. does his defense. Ching! And he gets hit by two more. Hmm. So he's down to two. Alright. Barbarian. I see. No rage attack this time. He's got six movement, just in case. Regular attack to the war bear. Yep. Four skulls. Ooh. Nice. This could be it. Ching ching. <coughs> Wasn't enough. Enough. Five, six. Yep. Got him. Got him. All right. Uh, this is the deadly depths. So you, yeah, you cleared out. The, cleared out the monsters once again. Thanks, Fubar. It's a lot of fleshy stabbing. <laughs> Got him! Got him! 
Okay. Well, he's got six movement. Um... <laughs> got him! <laughs> got him! Yeah, I like how the echo effect. Okay, should the barbarian leave the room or should he just kind of stick around? Because I see you guys are wanting to search for stuff too, right? I already searched for treasure in this room. Um, Each person can search, though. Right, right. Yeah. You know it's not a special treasure, but... I mean, that potion came in handy, so... Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's move him over this way to the door. One, two, three. Just in case anybody else breaks out of that ice. They'll be ready. And what do you think? Should he search for treasure? I mean, we're all in the room. If we get a mummy monster, we should be able to take care of it. So I say, why not? Or should he move into the corner? <laughs> it's the door or the corner? <laughs> well, the barbarian just attacked, so he can't really search for anything. But the dwarf can. Oh, you're absolutely right. right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Too hot in here. Okay, so the dwarf. He should search for treasure. Now, keep in mind though, he's only got two body points. Now he does have a uh, 1d6 potion though. Yeah. All right, so search for treasure. Sure. I just want to see somebody search for treasure. I wonder why he wants someone to search for treasure so hard. Hmm. Let's find out. Potion of healing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's plus four. Nice. Just what he needed, actually. Okay, Jacer. Still out? Oh, Poobar says there's a skill card inbound. Uh, ooh. Nice. Got a uh, six for movement. I guess move me into the, the ice room there. Okay. One, two, three. And, uh, There's crushed I ice search for, all around you. Yes. Uh, I guess searching for treasure. All right. All right. Let me just double check something here. Uh, Barb gets a skill card. Nice. Thank you, Fubar. Alright, those are chaos cards. That's not what you wanted. <laughs> Set those aside. Careful aim. Except that you don't have a crossbow. That's too bad. Useless skill. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I guess if he ever gets one, he'll have a careful aim. Yeah, barbarians can use crossbows. Yep. Except the instructions were in Latin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually got four skills now. That's pretty pretty good Let's check yeah because dodge and trip allows you to sidestep an attack so it does no damage and you cause the monster to lose a turn nice it's pretty nice somebody's got an extra skill that I'm missing Oh, no, no, I guess not. 
I have one called Disarm and Capture, but I haven't killed anything yet. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't pass the skill to somebody else. Right. Like uh, exactly. artifacts. Okay. I'm All thinking right. we should search that ice room for traps, huh? Oh, instead of for treasure? Well, or the next person can search it for traps. You know. Okay. But you're, We're all got to go in there sometime. Knight is searching for treasure. Gold. A meager haul of just 10 gold coins is found in the pocket of a worn, smelly jerkin. Who's that for? That's for the knight. Jacer oh. just got 10. Alright, and thanks, Fubar. Okay, Elf. Uh, does the well, scout, scout... scout going to do anything? Oh. Yeah, he's going to move in again. front of the knight and search for traps. I think the gray color is just hard for me to see, I guess. It just blends, in, blends the door. in with the door. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where is he going Gonna go? In front of the... In front of the knight and search for traps. Six... Okay, there are no traps in the room. You do see lots of crushed ice everywhere. I forgot that mercs can do stuff like that. Yeah, only the scout. Only the scout can search for yeah, traps. Yeah, can search for traps and also disarm traps. Or like a dwarf. disarm them. Yeah. Nice. And unlike animal companions, they can open doors. <laughs> Is that a bridge? Like an ice bridge there? Well... It's more no like, um, I take it as, like, there's just walls of ice on either side of you, and there's just a path through them. So it's like a hallway. Yeah. But since okay. it's been smashed, I guess you could, like, travel anywhere. Because they, like, busted their way out. Right. I assumed every square that didn't have a monster was just, like, solid ice, but that's not true. Uh, well, I guess you could imagine it how you wanted to. I guess I'm I'm okay. picturing it like like they're two display cases, and they just oh, okay. Out. But you could look <laughs> at it as like a little... they uh, yeah like an ice window solid ice or maybe just each one is like encased in ice and they just bust it out like like they look like statues. Just depends on how you interpret it. Again. I'm just wondering if you know how many people can fit in this room. That's all I was asking for. Oh yeah, you could all fit in. All there. right. Okay. Okay. I think we should all be in the room before we open the door, so. <laughs> all right. So where are you going, Elf? Oh, is it my turn? Um, yeah. I keep well, I'll just, um, I'll just um, run up there and just stand next to the knight if I can. Okay. What would you roll for movement? Oh, I, I keep forgetting to do that. Hold on a sec. Um, I only rolled a three, so I can't go that far. I mean, we could um, do the the unthreatened movement. All right, you got 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to be in front? No, just somewhere in the middle. I don't want to be in the front. <laughs> right. Like that? There's a lag. Yeah, the way I do the unthreatened movement is just allow you to move your full movement. There's no monsters on the Sounds board. Sounds good. Yeah, that's that's good right there. What are you saying, Jacer? Put him next to the knight. If, if, if he's going to search for treasure or something, put him next to the knight. Like that? Is that okay with you, Zirian? Sure. Yeah, that's what he said originally anyway. Oh, I didn't, didn't understand. Next to the knight, yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's search. Search for treasure. Wandering monster. What do you know? Yay! <laughs> oh, just oh. my luck. I'm gonna use the dice <laughs> challenge. Oh, okay. All right. So the monsters attack you instead of uh, to the elf. Brave. And don't. And only one can get at me. Brave's the knight. Let me grab my mummies here. Hold on. How come they weren't frozen? 
Maybe they were frozen and they just thawed out. <laughs> yeah. Takes them longer because they, they don't have warm blood in them. Right. Well, if they have their way, they will soon. <laughs> okay. Alright, so only one can attack. Two skulls. I'm rolling for you still, right? Chaser? Yes, please. Ching, 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 ching. Five white shields. Nice. Definitely nice a tombstone pile driver. <laughs> All right. So you grab him. Bam. Okay, he loses a body point. Rest in peace. <laughs> Irony, because he's undead, but I guess he's a restless creature. <laughs> Alright, nicely done. Okay, that was a whole lot of upset. Um, <laughs> okay. It's still, now it's your turn, though. True. All right, that one, that one that was just wounded will attack. Three skulls, Jaser. Ching, and two hits. So you're down to five. First damage you've taken in a while. Okay, so the mummy moves out of the way. The other mummy moves well. Yeah, he's gonna move like behind. The other mummy is gonna attack the scout. Soft target. Three skulls. So three defense Ooh. for the scout. This might be it for the scout. Yep. You did. I guess the scout drinks his potion now. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, so comes right back up. Bounces back like a punch clown. He says he's not dead. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Bite your legs off. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, barbarian. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Right, loony. Nine. You're a loony. <laughs> well, so the barbarian charge in. Axe swinging. Two. Maybe go for the wounded one. All right, I'm going to have him attack unless you guys object. Oh, well, that seems to, be, seems to be the name of the game. One skull. All right, he's got four defense. Ching. Blocked. My brain's getting tired. He's like, you guys got to kill some stuff for a change. <laughs> Okay, dwarf. Four. One, two, three, four. Well, yeah, Perfect. as far as you can really go. Attack the mummy. Two skulls. It's the fresh mummy. Relatively flat, fresh for a mummy. Okay, ching, and then one hit. All 
All right, Jacer. Attack with the long sword. All right, attacking the mummy. Or are you are you rolling, or am I rolling for you? You can roll. Okay, you got two skulls. <laughs> You're doing all right. At least I've been getting wrestle moves out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Ching, and then down he goes. And uh, have the scout, I guess, move uh, three spaces and flank the uh, other mummy. Am I rolling for the scout? Yes, please. Missed. I guess it's up to the elf then. <laughs> All right. Um. Syrian. See, I want to move up next to the scout so I can attack diagonally. I'll need what four? One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna roll, and I got a three. Perfect. Two, three. One, two, three. So I can just move up to the front of the mummy, right? I don't have. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah. So I guess I won't get diagonal, but that's fine. I will roll my attack. And I rolled one skull. All right. Oh, Strange Bus is in the chat. Oh, sweet. Hey, thanks, Strange Bus. For some reason, I really I... liked your guys' rant cast, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I listened to it afterwards. I wasn't there live. I was at work, but it was pretty entertaining. <laughs> we we talked a lot of trash about Amalgamash. No, we didn't talk trash about him. <laughs> we, I tried. I tried to to give his his uh, stuff a fair hearing, but right. He pointed out that there were a couple of points that kind of got lost in the chat. So I tried to reiterate those in my last video, but. Uh, Actually, when when Strange Bus said that, I uh, interpreted that as his uh, as like a Magmash scene. It's like, "Welcome, brave adventurers." <laughs> Can't quite do it. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can imitate my get voice. Little, yeah, get a little AS ASMR going here. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, did he defend my attack or no? Uh, what'd you get again? I just, I rolled one skull. Okay. Yeah, I was in the process of. Sorry to get us back into the game. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean the rank casts are a lot of fun, um, and and I think it's funny because like we like we we talk all this smack about stuff, and then we're like all apologizing, like oh we still like other people's <laughs> opinions, and we you know change our mind, and we don't hate anybody, and <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I hate the fact that we have to do that anymore because people do take things the wrong way, and bet, yeah. I'm not saying that any of you guys would, but yeah, just so it's out there, but yeah. Okay, so no defense at all. So you got. I did a damage. Nice. Now he really will rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the rant, the rant cast. I, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you. Uh, glad you appreciated it. Um. We're doing it every other week now on Thursdays instead of Fridays. So okay. all things go go on, and it's pretty good. It's pretty enjoyable. I don't change my mind. I mean what I say. I just know people can be easily misunderstood sometimes. I don't want to offend. Well, yeah. And, I mean, I'm not saying, like, one person yells the opposite of what you said, and so you're like, oh, I changed my mind. It's like, no, I mean... <laughs> if it's something that it's possible to change your mind about, I mean, go ahead and try. I mean, some people are like, they don't like to debate. They just want to just state their opinion and that's it. It's like, that's all I'm going to say about it. It's like, that's cool. I mean, it's our show. We're going to talk about what we talk about. But I mean, we've often wanted to do like a call-in show. Just like 
you know, like an old style uh, public access thing, you know, have people call in and just say what they think and then, or, you know, raise a point and then go with it. But that can get interesting because yeah. it's live and everything. But yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Yep. All right. Okay, so with the monsters defeated, we're back to the barbarian. Now, Strange Bus, are you gonna be are you gonna be playing or are you just lurking, just just watching? For now, coffee talk. Coffee talk. Yeah, coffee talk. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot the name of that. But yeah. Yeah. Coffee talk. Welcome to coffee talk. <laughs> seven. Okay, so the barbarian's got seven. Where should he go? Well, we need to eventually open that door, I think. So. All right. That's okay, Strange. Unless but everyone... If you're if you're just uh, if you're not in a good position to play, that's all right. You can just hundred degrees in the house right now. <laughs> Five. Yeah, I mean, you can tell I'm a little bit slower as I'm doing stuff. Is because I'm trying not to sweat to death here. It's only seventy-five in mine, so I'm oh fine. dang. See, my <laughs> AC is going, but it just it doesn't feel that cool in here. So I don't know if it's just that hot or if the thing's on its last legs uh -huh. or what. But I've got like fans no, we have going. Central... We have mm. central air, and I'm in the basement, so all the cool air is there you down go. here. So. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Where you want to be. I'm on the upper floor on the outside, so no such luck for me. But I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. Oh, definitely. Always worse. I'm grumpy, and the kids are driving me insane. Well, that's all right. You can be insane in our, uh, our chat if you want. Have a little levity. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's see. Um, he's got enough movement. One, two, three, four, five. Should he open the door? I mean, is everybody done searching this room? Like, I, don't, I haven't been keeping track. Yeah, uh, we've had three searches, I believe. We had the Wandering Monster, Gold, Potion of Healing. So we could get one more search out of it. We could. I'm trying to think who hasn't searched. Is it... I think it's the dwarf? Might be the dwarf, yeah. Let's just say it's the dwarf. Sorry about your AC. Your armor class? <laughs> yeah. No armor class in the game. <laughs> I know. Now, in Space Crusade, mean? they have an armor rating, but... Okay, um, all right, so he opens the door. What does he see? Nothing. Oh, wait, he does see something. It's just a, a brick wall. Out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> yeah, it is a brick wall. <laughs> you didn't uh, look ahead, did you? No. Okay, <laughs> like, okay I'm just going to get my pencil out, and I'm going to start changing stuff <laughs> now I've done the solo quests um, but that was it ah okay yeah so you're right on right on target yeah I was trying to figure out that's what I was trying to test to figure out what what kind of yeah, good starting equipment to give because because uh well you know I, I tried a few different things I tried with just you know just brand new warrior or a brand new character with no bonuses or anything and you got slaughtered right away <laughs> yeah, see. I did like a couple, like a couple extra things, and did better, but still didn't make it. So, just out of curiosity, um, what what modifications did you make to try to survive? I decided just to I decided just to go full the other way. Like I was looking on the Yield Inn, and I found a solo barbarian quest there where you basically get to turn into Thor. <laughs> you get the you get the hammer and the you know these oh. the, this 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 belt of uh, you know oh, plus growl, two growl of thunder. Growl of Thunder, yeah. So I basically just did that. Plus, I gave him a plus two helmet just for the hell of it. <laughs> uh, and I basically walked through the quest and slaughtered everything without a problem. So I'm thinking it's somewhere in between. Somewhere <laughs> I just between, haven't, yeah. you know, tried it again. You know what I mean? I haven't, yeah. I haven't had time to do it again. But I'm thinking, you know, maybe a little extra than the. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what's what's fair. So I, I was going to try it again. Yeah. But... I think the way that I did it with just um, using the Yeti hug break. The blind trap jumping it's still pretty tough and it's still a lot based on luck so i think having a companion either a mercenary that you find or the wolf to help you is probably the way to go 
Yeah. Well, the I mean, the app doesn't let you do that. But it's a yeah. solo quest. That's true. But well, let's see. Oh yeah, because Into the Northlands hasn't been added yet. But once they add that, of course. I mean, I noticed the mercenaries can't be applied to other quest packs, and the solo quests are yeah. I wish isolated. they. I wonder if they'll fix that eventually, because I'd like to play like solo the original game with the just like with a couple mercenaries and see how in there. Yeah, because yeah, normally they wouldn't they wouldn't apply. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to hire them unless you're a champion. But what if you're a champion? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm irritable. Makes me debate whether I should stream tonight. Patience is low. Well, see, that depends, Strange Bus. If you're, if it's gonna be like helpful, like if you're gonna be like raging about something cool, but if you're gonna be saying stuff you regret and just not having a good time, just don't do it. Just, just take it off. Just uh, give yourself a give yourself a break. Heat makes people easily irritable. It's been a long day. Yeah. Yeah, man. I totally know where you're coming from. All right. So where were we? Did the treasure search, right? Looking out the door. Or no. He looks out the door. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, he's got two more squares of movement. Do you think he should go out in the hallway and search for traps? I would say so. He's pretty much our strongest character. So. Yeah, okay. Maybe just step outside the door, search for traps. Gives you a better view. Okay, you got the rock wall right there. Okay, one. From here, can we smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. Okay, <laughs> uh, no traps. Cool. All right. Dwarf. So the hallway is safe. Dwarf. Eight. Roll your movement dice. One, two, three. Actually, he should probably search, right? For tre treasure? In the room? If he's Oh, in the one. room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Search for treasure, then move. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty crappy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Potion of defense. Nice. Which is the female dwarf. Two extra combat dice. All right, Jacer. <clears throat> oh, I just rolled for you. Do you want to roll, or am I rolling for you still? Finally made keep, it home. You keep rolling. Hey, Elviler. Welcome home. All right, so you got 11. 11. Welcome, adventurer. All right, so where are you going, Jacer? I guess... Uh... Have him head out the door and south. All the way? Well, I guess at least to see what's around that corner. All spots are not filled, Tyler. Yeah, you can definitely join us. We've got... Let's War see. Or Barbarian. Yeah. Dwarf or Barbarian? Give him a chance to respond. Yeah, so at this time you see nothing. Alright, I guess I'll take another three steps and look around the next one. As you wish. It's nice that you can break up your movement like that. Yeah, because looking around is not an action. That's a free. free okay. Action, yeah. 
So you see a door, a closed door. Lead to that center room. I see the edge of a dice box. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's it scoots away as if it's shy. <laughs> uh, I'll search. Uh, I'll search that corridor for traps. Okay. Um, strange sense of foreboding comes over you, but you can't quite pinpoint the location. Eviler wants to be the barbarian. Ah. Take a barbarian. Just give me a minute to grab a heroic brew, and I'll hop into quest talk. Nice. Got to use channel points if you want it to affect the game, however. Oh, it was a defense brew, not a brew. I'm like, somebody just got one of those, but no, that was the defense portion. Elviler, creator of many fine artworks for us and a pretty cool website, elviler.com. And I need to plug the strange bus. Um, he's feeling a little bit of heat rage today, but we hope he uh, feels better, gets, stays hydrated. Man, broken AC, that really sucks. Hope you got some fans or some ice or something. Uh, cool off. But uh, yeah, The Strange Bus here on Twitch. Um, he's probably not going to be streaming because of the heat either. I don't blame him at all. But check out his past streams. He's got some really good ones. Definitely check out the rant cast. We've done. We've had a lot of fun with those lately. And he's also on YouTube, The Strange Bus. And last but not least, our friend Jacer has Warbuilder 22J is the um, YouTube channel that he's put a lot of work into. Has some really cool stuff. Check that out. Let's see. Okay, so after exploring the hallway, we've got the elf. Zirian. The elf. Yes, I'm still in the room. Yes, I can't see the camera. Oh, my bad. Um, so oh, the, I just want to. Uh, I got to roll. I got to roll for scout. a minute. Man, I I keep forgetting the darn scout. <laughs> I see. I guess I'm oh, not yeah, used to playing scout. with mercenaries. Yeah. Okay. So where's this? Where's the scout gonna go? Follow you or? Uh, he's, he, no, he's actually gonna go to that. Uh, all the way to the top or north and search that corridor for traps good idea one that's a good two, idea three four five six okay went to the farthest north and sees a stone wall over here by the where those cave-ins occurred last time so right behind the alchemist bench on the other side there's a, a stone wall here so you can't go back that way and uh, Somewhere, there's danger. Some elsewhere, elusive. All right, I'm gonna roll my movement. I rolled a ten, two fives, nice. Um. Okay, so that that hallway that the scout is in, uh, we just see a brick wall on that side, but nothing on the other side. Correct. Okay. Well, let's head down the other side then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we'll be just a few spaces away from the scout in that hallway. Five, right there. Did he? Wait a minute. Did he search for traps? Yeah, he searched for traps yeah, this way. Okay. okay, so it's safe for me to move the other way then. And how many, how many this spaces one's been is that? As well. Right. I don't know how many did you roll. I rolled a ten. Um, oh, 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 oh. But I want. I wanted to go in that hallway and search for secret doors. Five more spaces. Okay, so which side do you want to go to? Um. Well, the opposite side from that brick wall, like. Okay. Six, seven. Well, just set me next to the scout and then search for search for secret doors. Okay. There are no secret doors. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll end my turn. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. 
Yeah, no problem, strange bus. Well, you know, the cellar is the safest place. Yeah, stay cool, man. Stay especially, cool, brother. Especially if you're playing Dance Dance Revolution. You gotta stay cool. Alright. So scout, elf, no Zargon, so back to Barbarian. Elviler, are you ready? I am here. What'd I miss? Welcome. Alright. Elviler's here and HeroQuest fans live on Twitch, not live on YouTube. Okay, so we are still playing the Deadly Depths. Um, after a, a titanic battle, um, lots of I monsters missed. were destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Um, people are people are pretty banged up, but you do have some healing. So the barbarian right now, which you're taking control of, he just stepped outside this door. This corridor has this vertical corridor has been searched for traps. Um, the top corridor, there's something dangerous, but we don't know. Um, but anyway, the barbarian has four attack, four defense. He's using his battle axe, which the battle axe he's named Reginald. Uh, he's wearing chainmail and a helmet. He's got lots and lots of potions. And he's got some combat cards as well. So I'm just kind of laying this all on you, but do you need a minute to uh, calibrate yourself there as far as his stuff? Uh, yeah, I'll just wing it. There you go. So he's got luck, which would counteract one of my chaos cards. He's got dodge and trip, which would allow you to um, take no damage from attack and cause the monster to lose a turn. He's got heroic sacrifice, which would allow you to take the blow intended for another member of your party that you're adjacent to. Um, you've got careful aim, but you don't actually have any ranged weaponry to use it with. Um, Potion-wise, you've got a scroll. Well, it's not a potion. It's a scroll of warmth which would restore three body points to yourself or an ally you've got two potions of warmth which do one each or if it's cold damage it's two each you've got a healing plus four you've got potion of magic resistance you've got three speed potions which are double movement and then you're wearing the armband of ice which protects you from most ice damage oh and i forgot you've got Oh no, that's that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. You've got a thousand gold. Is that armband of ice. Yeah, the armband of ice. Okay. So you can wander like through icy rivers without taking damage, that sort of thing. Great. Yep. And that was actually found by Dumai Montalto when he did Into the Northlands, and we transferred it to your character. <laughs> that's what I'm doing from quest to quest. Just whatever you earn or unlock goes to somebody else now the only the only problem is what if somebody like dies horribly <laughs> does that affect the other quests uh we'll see <laughs> can i be him nope you're dead what i never died well when okay. goofus was playing he uh killed you off <laughs> what <laughs> goofus no <laughs> Okay, with all that said, all right. there you are in the corridor. Do you have your own dice? Yeah, I got my dice. Uh, right. So, the rest of the party, uh, what's the consensus, consensus? Which way are we headed? Uh, we just kind of got here into the hallway, so we haven't really decided which way to, it would be the best way to go yet. That's why we're just kind of searching around. and okay. There is a stone wall yeah, blocking just the Looking for look secret like doors and stuff. Eastern. To me, it looked like you were splitting the party. Cardinal Sin. Yeah. Well, I was just going the other way because I figured, you know, cover more ground yeah. and he was find something party. somewhere to, something to do first. <laughs> All right. He has played before, but yeah, it's the uh, it's the idea of like exploring. Like you know you shouldn't, but you do it anyway. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Seen it before. Ain't pretty. All right. Uh, I've got a. Well, if something happens, the rest of the party will come help. So it's not usually a big deal. Yeah. All right, roll a seven. Let's uh, let's go down to the south. All right, one, two, three. 
I guess, continue to the east? Yep. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yep. Uh, has this hallway been searched for traps? Yeah, but you weren't really able to detect anything. Okay. Just an ominous kind of feeling. Right. Like we're in a dungeon or something. Scary dungeon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'll search for uh, secret doors then, unless that's been done already. No secret doors. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Dwarf. I guess I'm controlling the dwarf. But you guys can, of course, advise me what you think, where he's, you think he should go or do. Five. He rolled a five for movement. I kind of wish I could see the hero's current stats on screen. Yeah, I I thought about doing that, but I really haven't um, created like a virtual character sheet with everything on it. And really, like that's what my character sheet looks like. <laughs> so it's a little, little cramped, a little crowded and stuff. Hard to know what's up with no some kind of turn here. order on screen. Yeah, I, I have done that some? before. Mm -hmm. okay. pain because I always forget whose turn it is <laughs> yeah well we can we can do that we can we can uh, recreate that uh, just give me a moment here so we got the barbarian yeah, maybe you had something similar on one of your vods there was like oh yeah four pictures with numbers underneath them yeah and uh, that was like created specifically for a certain party that no longer no longer is together but let's see we got the dwarf Let's find the dwarf here. Be a little more organized. There's the dwarf. And we don't have one for the knight, so let's put P for the knight. Oh man. I made the P at yellow. That was not what I was intending, but can have a little laugh if you're eight years old and then the elf is last here we are Oh yeah, and always forgetting the scout, of course. So put a second one under the scout, so I remember. <laughs> Pour one out for my homies. Ah, uh, bonus potion and Zargon. There, that'll be a little little bit easier to to track, I think. If I can get this going. Wow, this camera is really getting hot. And this is not the like really cheap one either. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Someone's doing an ASMR with the uh, heroic brew there. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus potion. Mm. 
Venom antidote. Well, that would have worked for the uh, or potion antidote. That would have worked for the the uh, poison. <laughs> Anar can dominate. Welcome. All right. Well, we'll give somebody the potion of antidote. Just have it. Anybody want it specifically? Um. I don't know who's most likely to spring a trap. Maybe the dwarf. <laughs> like least likely. <laughs> well, because oh, I mean, he can disarm them. Well, yeah, right. but I mean, and if you forget to search and you just land on something, well, it's true. Your own fault. All right, fine. Let's and give the it scout to the... is expendable, so I've, I've got enough, so I can give it to someone else. Antidote. We'll give it to the dwarf. Okay. All right. Okay, so the barbarian did his thing. The dwarf is going to go. Whoop. Actually played through Quest 3 tonight with the fam. Oh, nice. So, of the barbarian quest back? Or of the game system? <clears throat> or something else, maybe. Insert random quest three here. I mean, could have been the rescue. <coughs> oh, the oh, the third barbarian solo quest. Yeah, the yeah. rescue, sir. What's his name? Yeah. The original. Ah, okay, okay. Well, so, the original one. Okay. So that would be the lair of the orc warlord. If I do it by memory. Because it's the trial or the maze. Rescue Sir Ragnar. Lair of the Ark World. Nice. Wulag isn't <laughs> as tough as you think he is. He's only got two body points. Unless you beefed him up, of course. <laughs> Why did you do that? Anticlimactic. Well, there's different things you could do. I've done little improvements here and there. Like with Sir Ragnar... I usually like add more reinforcements so it isn't an anticlimax. Of course, I noticed in the app they just said, "Well, if you if you want to be done with the quest, you, you can be done." <laughs> like as soon as, yeah. as soon as he exits the quest, it's like, "No, we want to hang out and like look for more treasure." And then all of a sudden, it's like, "Oh, reinforcements arrive! Ah, run, run!" <laughs> <laughs> One shot with a genie. Yeah, that'll do it. Your heroes, after all, those heroic feats. Okay. All right, so the dwarf got seven, so he should probably go out into the hall, right? Yeah. Do we want to go to that room in the middle, or should we continue exploring? One. Well, it's kind of up to you guys. Remember, your mission is to find the door. Oh, well, yeah, and then, so a door is going to be in a hallway, not in a room. So. Yeah, you would think. Do we know that, though? Well, you would think magic so. Magic portal I mean, would... or a staircase. Well, unless it well, didn't yeah, say find the, the staircase. Yeah, you're it's right. It would have door. to be, it would have to be, uh, yeah, like an outer, outer door. If I was writing the quest, I'd just have like a magic portal in some random room. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I'm Oops. a jerk. Spike trap. <laughs> yep. Magical spike. I wall walked to the steps when the alarm sounded on number two. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm glad you had a good game. Sounds like fun. Uh, okay, so he he uh, is going to just continue to go south? Well, I mean, we can see what's in that room, but I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering what's down the other Two, hallway, though. Three. Depends on how many body points everybody has left. That's true. Okay. I'm at three. So let's, yeah. So Barbarian has six. Uh, dwarf has, oh, and barbarian has a healing of three, a healing of four, two healings of yeah. one. I think barbarian should be in the lead. Like we'll just follow him. Dwarf has two left, but he's got a d6 healing and a four healing. And knight has five left, and he's got a four healing, and stalwart, which would bring him back with one. And then elf has three left. 
and he's just, um, no, I only have one d6, one d6 potion left. I used one and I gave one to the dwarf. Uh, dwarf. Yeah, I was just reading that. All right, well, if you guys want to wait for me to open the door and take the brunt of whatever's in there, then that's fine. In the center room? Yep. Okay. All right, so the dwarf is going to continue on. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's as far as he can go. So he just nuzzled up to the knight there. Okay. All right. Jacer. Oh yeah, where's my little uh, marker? Jay, sir, are you still uh, still in the chat? Jay, sir, Jay. Are you, sir? Well, if he stepped away, hmm. I guess uh, we can just take his turn. <clears throat> yeah, just roll movement and get close to the door. Yeah, just checking this. Room. And then, and then his scout will follow. I'm gonna assume. So Avalon Hill is their official Discord up, I guess. I'll have to join that later. Nice. I was like, don't forget about us now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if have you a, did. They have an invite for it? or Didn't hang out. Well, it's probably on Twitter. Is that the Zargon Twitter name, or do they have a different one for themselves? There is another. Yeah, they, there's I, an Avalon got Hill their own one. as well. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay, let's roll for him. Well, there's no threats. Can't we just go f full movement or just uh, speed it along? Yeah, no? good point. Good point. Okay. So he should go to the door? I think we're in agreement to that, yeah. Yep. Okay, but Barbarian was going to be the one to open it? Right. One, so we'll just follow two, the Barbarian. Line up behind him like good little three, rats in a maze. Four. Okay, and as he moved that direction, he saw there was a rock wall to the east. I'll just... There, that really shiny wall there. Okay. So like good little lemmings. I mean, brave adventurers. <laughs> okay, so you lined up there, and do you think he'd want to do any actions? Well, I'm wondering if there's any secret doors in that little hallway. Have we searched for that yet? Search for secret doors. There are no secret doors in that hallway. Okay. And now the Pretty scout hallway. actually remembered the scout. So should the scout come back down with you guys too? Yeah, let's, let's regroup the party, I'm thinking. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, bing. And then elf. Um, it's not on camera off to the west of where I am. Is that just a dead end or what? I can't, I can't see it. Well, I mean, it goes all the way to the edge of the board. Oh, but, but we haven't explored around that corner. Correct. Okay. Well, we can 
do that later. So yeah, let's just uh, head to the center room. Okay. All right, what'd you get for movement? Or are you doing full movement? Yeah, like I said, there's no threat, so let's just Two, three, do full four, movement to five, move it along. Six, seven, eight. 12. Well, you could go 12 and go right here, like diagonal to the door. I think I'd rather bring up the rear. <laughs> All righty. Unless something's going to sneak in behind us. <laughs> you never know. I know, I never know. <laughs> but I know. It's for me to know and you to find out. Exactly. Yeah, I'll just I'll just stay at the back of the back of the line. Wandering monster. <laughs> okay. Well, you had me going for a second. I was like, really? Oh. <laughs> yes. I try to rely on the chat to redeem those, but if, if needed. Do what you can. I mean, uh, if you saw us playing with the companion app, whenever somebody redeemed a monster, it was just like, okay, so we just have to have somebody like walk into a room, search for treasure, get a wandering monster, <laughs> and say that's the monster <laughs> that they redeemed. So it's kind of interesting trying to implement those homebrew rules with the, uh, you know, with the with the app. So nothing. Yeah, well, the app the app will just have like a it's like a wandering monster trap almost. Like you go to a certain square and then oh you you found some wandering monsters just like out of nowhere. Yeah, but I think that's just in the frozen horror. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, I mean like if we're just using it like if we just wanted to put a monster any old where, uh, we'd have to like trigger it on purpose. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Elviler. Roll to four. That should get me up to the <coughs> door. <laughs> and then let's open the door. All right. The barbarian cool. poet. One, two. You want to open the door right now? Yep, let's do it. All right. You open the door. Let's go. All right, revealing everything inside that doesn't require searching. Let's see. Five polar werebears. A good idea. <laughs> and because you mockingly said that, we'll make it. <laughs> I ordered extra miniatures, so limit two to a customer. Where is it? Oh, okay. You see a sorcerer's table here and you also see flanking a couple of chaos warriors no oh, haven't seen those for a while it's gonna be ready here okay so chaos warriors and you also see Vylor Dread Sorcerer, Chaos Warlock. Oh, this was the dude we were looking for. Yep, stands ready. So I wonder what the danger was on the other side. Or maybe it wasn't on the other side, it was on this side. We were looking for someone? I thought we were just looking for a door. Found someone you have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were looking for a door. See, it says Viler is waiting for you, but it doesn't say, oh, your mission is not complete until you've killed him. It just says that he's waiting for you. So you found him. So, well, okay. So we should have probably gone the other way. <laughs> we could have escaped the quest without killing him. Yeah. Still at large. That means that I get to throw him into another quest. Like that you... Right, exactly. So maybe we should just take care of it now. <laughs> Kill him now or be killed by him later? The choice is yours. I gotta. I haven't had to use these yet. Hold on, guys. I gotta grab some more cards. Be right back. Chaos magic. Minor next. Suggest some time. Strategic retreat.
that Will Smith's Aunt Vi, which cast warrior's Uncle Phil. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Oh, man. The other one's Carlton. He starts dancing. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. I'm just going to have to keep track of all this. this. I'll just tell you, this guy is loaded. Inspiring. Well, I moved two spaces, right? I should have two more to get to him. Yep, he's in the center there. In the face. One, two. Okay. I'll go my shoe. Uh, do I have any potions that'll help me take this guy out quicker? Uh, Somebody has a defense potion. I think that was the dwarf. You do have a potion of magic resistance. Um, I might want to use that. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's got magic spells. That's right. Yeah, finally. Because it's like all this time people have been collecting like magic and ice, yep. and it's just like, oh, man, there's nothing. This isn't going to be any use against war bears. But, uh, okay. Well, I think with that one, you've got to use it like right after you get hit by something, though. You can't just like, it's not passive protection, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. So if you well, basically if you get hit by it, hit, then. Damn it. Keep Damn it in the back pocket. pocket. Yeah. yeah. Well, the potions of warmth would restore from ice damage. Uh, magic resistance would restore from any type of damage from a spell. All right. Well, I'll... Uh, I guess I'll play it by ear. If he tries to freeze me, then I'll use a warmth. If not, then yeah, I've got the magic resistance. I guess I'll just uh, take a swing at him then. Okay. Actually, I'm going to quickly just pull out those cards so that I can remember. Barbarian, roll your attack dice. All right, what'd you get? Two skulls. Two skulls against Vylor. Okay. Hold on here. Two skulls. No, remember, it's Aunt Vylor. <laughs> oh, no, actually, Magic Resistance says you can ignore the effects of the spell. So it doesn't just talk about damage. So the effects as well. Okay. So no need to use it now. Yep. Okay, so you got two skulls against him, and he's got three defense. Pretty tough for a wizard. Right? Yep. He's got mage armor or something. No defense. Two. Two nice. Hits. Not down yet, though. Nope. They really beefed up the uh, body points in this quest pack. <laughs> they really did. Yep. Okay. After the barbarian. Nice. At least there's no more 10 hit point ogres, though. <laughs> Fire. <Inspiring laughs> yeah. Dance. <laughs> well, who says that I'm uh, listening to uh, Avalon Hills? Uh, true. I guess it depends true. on who your Zargon is. Yeah. yeah. True. I mean... I, I'm curious to see what other changes they make. Because the thing is, like, if I've upgraded my heroes so much that they're kind of OP anyway... Right, then you much. might as well. Yeah. But if we're just starting from scratch and it is just 10 body... I mean, that's like a whole... That's a whole evening's worth of questing, just about. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a boss fight. Boss fight! But yeah, there's, there, there should be some scaling method, you know? It's like, yeah. well, you know, if the party's fairly strong, then maybe make it 8 instead of 10. Yeah. I like uh, and Andros's uh, system. He actually did a color coded uh, system, so he would just like, he, you know, on the quest map, you've got the green monsters or like the first level. Then there's yellow monsters, red monsters, purple monsters. So mm. like, 
you know, if the heroes have like six dice overall or eight dice overall, they go to the higher level. So it's like all those monsters. Of course, the quest would take a lot longer, but I guess you just you'd be killing them left and right, and it's just like, oh, there's so many. So instead of you know one goblin, there's three goblins, an orc, and a femur, or something like that. They could do something like that. I mean, it would take a lot more work because, and then they have to explain it all so that it made sense to people. Yeah. But yeah, it's probably easier for them to just do like a digital file later saying, okay, here's a list of suggestions. But we'll see. We haven't seen the inside of the Elf Quest book yet that I'm aware of. Okay, so good move. So, Dwarf. What should the Dwarf do? He just got a four. Roll. Uh, one, two, three, four. Stand outside the door, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hodor. And he has no ranged abilities. Well, he could throw a dagger, I guess. But what good would it do? Right. He also has magic resistance. Okay. All right. Jacer, are you back? Yeah, I agree. I haven't used it, but it's a great idea. Simple way to do it. Sounds like somebody just down to potion <laughs> that was me sorry right. <laughs> <laughs> stay hydrated yep you don't have to use channel points to get me to drink all right okay so basically yeah he's just there Okay, all right, we'll roll for Jacer because he's not back yet. Hope he's all right. I'm sure he's just busy. I understand everybody's got their own stuff going on. Five. So what do you think he should do? He does have his crossbow, but he would have to step into the room to use it. He's the knight, right? He's standing behind the dwarf? Yeah. Yeah, you could just run into a corner and take out his crossbow and shoot at the bad guy. Okay. North or south? Um. Or he could just actually just step into the door straight ahead, and he could hit either of the chaos warriors. Or oh, I mean, right, because the right because the barbarian isn't in his line of sight. Yeah, that would that'd be okay too. Okay, north or south. Um, good. I don't. I don't know. Um, flip a coin. <laughs> How about north? Let's go north. Excuse me. All right. One, two, three. Are right, he's going to move north or attack north? Well, we we decided he's going to move. Oh, I thought you were going to move in behind the. Okay, never mind. That works too. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Whatever you think. Okay. That's good. All right. If that's good, then it's good. <clears throat> well, he's got that long sword, so he can attack diagonal, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would just keep him there. I think. All right. Is changing weapons a free action, or does that take half a turn, or how does that work? It It's a free action. The only time okay. it ever becomes a problem is if people are switching between two-handed weapons and shields, in which case oh, okay. I'd probably give them some type of penalty, just because otherwise it can be cheating <laughs> if, there's, if it's in the middle of combat. <clears throat> okay, so is he going to fire the crossbow then? That was the plan, yep. Who's he shooting? Um, well, I say let's go for the, the big guy, because we want to kill him first, don't we? All right. Shooting at Vylor. Yeah. How about switching between melee and range? Yeah, no no problem with that at all, Ribby. 
I wouldn't do any penalty at all. Uh, I'm not sure why I rolled the monster dice. Okay, well, <laughs> still count it. <laughs> he shot himself in the face. One skull. <laughs> all right. Only one. Those three defense. No defense. Took another hit. All right. Oh, the Vylor took another damage. Yep. Anybody wants to help out old, your old uncle Zargon, you know what to do. <laughs> okay. So the scout, do, do we want to keep him out of the battle or because he's kind of squishy? Well, you guys decide. I was just kind of asking the rest of the party. I don't know who's paying attention. If he's uh, if he's not doing well, then yeah, we can keep him out. Well, I mean, well, he's, only, he's only got like two hit points, so he's never doing yeah. well. Let's, let's move him. Let's move him right up to the door, and then Three. like behind the dwarf, and then uh, if we need him, we'll call. He can him. he can come in, yeah. Like if someone's gonna die, anyways, <laughs> or as okay. close to it. Okay. All right. Fubar redeemed bonus monster for Zargon. Yes. During the boss battle. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Fubar is equal op opportunity. Okay. Four. Okay. So it's probably gonna skeleton. Okay. All right. The skeleton. Hmm. This is the boss battle of boss battles, so I'm going to say the skeleton rises up behind the sorcerer's table. Thanks, Ubar. He and I planned this out in advance. Just kidding. <laughs> That sounds like, about right. It's like, oh, you want a gift subscription, eh? Well, you got to kill at least <laughs> three heroes for me. Just pretend like you're helping them out. And then in the fourth round, they go down. All yes, right. me, Lord. All right. Just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> no, I tr we try to try to play it straight. Just, I mean, who knows what people want to do, right? Okay. <laughs> so, Elf, what's your move? All right. I got to roll. I rolled a four. Crap. So I'm gonna be next to the dwarf, I guess. All right. Oh, and bonus potion. Equal opportunity, oh. Fubar. Thanks. Potion of restoration. Ooh. That's like a healing potion, right? Yep. One body and one mind are restored. So who gets that? Oh, okay. What is the bonus threat card for Zargon? Well, why don't you redeem it and find out? <laughs> it means I get an evil wizard card. So it could be all kinds of nasty things to help Zargon. Do it. Do it. With each passing moment, you become more my more servant. My servant. Yeah, it totally is. Normally, normally chaos life. Normally, uh, I use the the evil wizard deck every time I have no monsters on the board. So here, I wouldn't get to. But since the quests are so hard, I just relegated it to channel points. I figure if uh, the people really want to have an epic battle, I guess choose life. <laughs> yeah, but once I've conquered everything, you know. Then what will you do? Continue to fight? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> any actions? I guess you don't really have any actions, do you? Not really. I mean, yeah. Well, then allow me to retort. Okay. <laughs> so, Vylor, none too pleased that you bloodied him, whips out his uh, evil... Magic is Ice Storm. Ooh, that an area matter. two squares wide by two squares long. Each monster and hero in that area is attacked separately with three combat dice. There's no chance to defend. 
Oh, so he's going to hurt his own people. Well, not necessarily, because the four squares he's attacking are right there. So, boom, boom, the boom. squares boom, that we're boom. on. Yep. So both the Barbarian and the Knight get hit. All right, so first the Barbarian. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was like in all directions. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I read that right. Two squares wide, but two squares long. That's a square. So you you could just pick a two square. Uh, uh, boom, boom, that's boom, a good boom. way to put it. Two so square four, foot area. A four yeah. square block, Anywhere. basically. Yeah. Well, with any line of sight, I would assume. But yeah. Right. I would assume, yeah. Okay, so the barbarian just took two hits of damage. <laughs> he can't. Well, he could have done it behind the barbarian and got. Well, of course, he can't see okay. us behind the wall. I suppose. Can the uh, barbarian use one of the potions of warmth to negate that? Ooh, that's a good, good idea. Okay. Yep. Because when else am I going to use them? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that would just he that would heal you t two of them. So, have you ever seen the movie Suburban Commando? No. Okay. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's in it. There's a clip on YouTube where, like, the guy like shoots him with like a this freeze gas, and like as it's clearing away, you see him like he's already in the process of drinking like antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's fine because he's a space soldier. Yeah, so that happens. You're just like ah, antifreeze, like wipe, it's smash the bottle and like wipe wipe your mouth off with your sleeve. All right, and now the night. Actually, he wouldn't even had to use it because he's got the amulet of the north. I forgot. So <laughs> you still got your potion of warmth. My bad. Oh, the barbarian does. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. That's the whole point of the armband of ice. Just like, oh, not the amulet nice. of the north. That's something later. No, the the armband of ice. Yeah. Well, then I should probably give these potions to the elf. Okay, when it's your turn, you can well, do that. Yeah. Well, the knight should get one too then, huh? Because we're... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so knight... Did I already roll? I think I already rolled. Vanilla Dread spell's got nothing on that. Yeah, so one skull. And knight... Has nothing for it. So he's down to four. Yeah, the ice spells. Okay, um, let's see. He has movement. Eat movement. All right, so he's going to move out of the way here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back behind the sorcerer's table. See this this is not quite long enough. Don't run from me, puny wizard. There. Just gonna die tired. Okay, so he moves and his uh his Chaos Warrior attendants are gonna attack. So let's see now. They're not going to be able to block your incoming one. Yeah. Okay. So the first uh, first chaos warrior is going to decide who he's going to attack. Knight. All right. He's going to attack the knight. Ah, wasn't even using the turn tracker. Okay. Knight, roll your defend. Four skulls. Ooh. All right, Jacer, are you here? Are you muted, Jacer? All right, I'm rolling your defense, Jacer. Bueller. All right, he got one, two, and he takes two damage. 
Two damage. So he's down to two. That's right. Now he does have a heal left. Plus right. four. And his stalwart. So I don't feel too bad for him. And he's he's going to get one of those healing or er, warmth things from the barbarian too on his turn. So. Yeah. Okay, the other chaos warrior. Alright, the other Chaos Warrior is going to move to three and block the door. Oh, really? Let's see. Can he and attack diagonally? No, he can't. He's gonna attack Good. the he's gonna attack the knight. Two skulls. Jacer. Two skulls. Uh, no defense. Oh no. He's down. He's dead. We well, have to use one of his potions. Yep. Potion kicks in. He's back at four. All right. And I got my skeleton. Mm. I always forget how many they move. Are they, is it seven? Six. One, two, three, four, five. So you can't really, well, unless he passes through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, eight. he's not really going to do much. If he can't attack diagonally, there's not much he can do. No. He can still get closer to the battle, though. Yeah. Two, three, four. Alright. Okay, I'm done. Barbarian. Barbarian. Alright, roll to six. Let me see here. Perfect. Doesn't help me much. Are you trying to move? You want to chase after the chaos guy? Yeah. I don't like that he ran from me. Right? Come back here, you coward. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's a skeleton, right? Well, yeah. he'd be more, come back here, you coward. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty brittle. I'll go up to the skeleton and hit him. All right. One, two, three. Your next wizard. Uh, two skulls. Yeah, not much, much there. Cha-ching! Blocked it all. Ooh. No. Huh. Lucky skeleton. No kidding. Funny bone. Blocks a attack from a barbarian. Good old funny bone. <laughs> I was right. going to give you those potions, but I figure the barbarian's pretty single-minded. and No problem. Really yeah, I was going to I was gonna try to get up next to you anyway, but I, then the other guy blocked the door, so I can't anyways. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dwarf? I have a secret scroll in my pocket. I can pass through rock. <laughs> if only. <laughs> All right. What should the dwarf do? Attack. Okay. Two 
two skulls. Chaos Warrior defends. Ching ching! Blocked them both. No oh, bother. No oh, bother. I keep forgetting the turn. I guess I have to use it from the beginning, otherwise, I just. Like, I'm just not in the habit of using it. That's fine. This is why we all as need long to be as around someone, the same table. <laughs> as long as someone can keep it straight, that's, that's all that matters. Yeah, it's just a tool for trying to keep it straight. Okay, alrighty then. Jacer. Jacer! See, he's still in the... He's he's still... Uh, he may be occupied elsewhere doing things. Is he in the voice chat? I, is he the little chaos yeah. warrior symbol? Yeah. Or, not, no, that's the gargoyle. That's the gargoyle. Yeah, he's still there. So we got the elf him. quest back for two hundred dollars. Might not be available though. Plus yeah, that's unbelievable. Of course, I what is really... it? Somebody got the elf quest, the classic elf quest pack. Classic. I use the term loosely. Uh, mm -hmm. Two hundred dollars plus eight dollars shipping. On like eBay or something? Uh, I can't tell if it's eBay or Mercari. I mean, it's, it's oh. not an app. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Angus is like, I can't. Someone got a hell of a deal. Can't believe I missed that one. A little crying emoji. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Honestly, the. I mean, just other, other than curiosity, um, or if you were one of the few people that had it as a kid, I don't see the big deal. I mean, if it was $40, sure, I'd buy it. But. Right. Um, just wait for the. Wait for the remake. Yeah. I'm sure, it'll be. And, you know, it. Just like. Amalgam Ash was talking about. I mean, if you don't like whatever they decide to do with the new game, you can always revert to the old rules. They're pretty easy to find. Yeah. yeah. Or just tweak it for your own home game, you know? Yep. One second. All right, just had to respond to somebody there. Sorry. Um, okay, uh, where were we? Jacer. I think Jacer's turn. Oh, Jacer. Yeah. Well, I think he just topped out of the chat too. Oh, okay. Yeah, he must have had something going on. Was well, that what that noise was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Call. Okay. Yes, he probably just just timed out. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, he doesn't really have any special abilities to use, and he's got four body points left. He does have stalwart. He could come back with one. It's kind of a last ditch thing. I know. He should he try to fight his way through? I mean, he's got uh, ranged attack. Anybody? Yeah, I think he should like run to a safe spot and you know, shoot him from afar, you know? Like... Well, he could pass through. Yeah, he could pass through the Barbarian and do Is that. Is he going to have enough movement to get far four. enough away? He only got four. Two, three, yeah, four. Uh, dude. Put him up beside the Barbarian. Then I can give him the potions One, on my two. next turn. Okay. Should he still attack the Chaos Warrior? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah. I was thinking the dwarf had keen hearing. I guess maybe he should have been the one to check the door, the room, but we didn't think of it. <laughs> mm. Okay, one skull. Chaos Warrior defends. One damage. Nice. I think after this, I'm going to take a cold shower. Not because <laughs> I'm all hot and bothered, but just because I'm just hot. <laughs> it's like death, destruction. Oh, got to cool off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So we did that. And now the scout. 
See, it didn't forget. Boom, boom. But it did forget the, uh, okay. So should the scout do anything? Well, he can't really do anything. So, okay. Elf. Okay. So I, I can attack that Chaos Warrior kitty corner right through the door? Yep. Okay. You gotta, so. you gotta at least hold out till spring when your quest pack comes out. Yeah. <laughs> or you can get it for $208 if you're lucky. Yeah. Alright, so rolling attack. That was a note. Right. What's that? Uh, two, sk two skulls. Nice. I didn't hear what you said, uh... Oh, I said a thousand if you're not lucky. Yeah. <laughs> like, forget it. I mean, even <laughs> like six, even 300. I don't, I mean, I top out at 200, and that's like a full board game, not an expansion. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll just wait until it goes down lower. If you've got to have it now, but that's how they get you. I mean, by that point, uh, you're just better off printing it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can print everything for 100 bucks. If you want to go that route okay miniatures well you can print them for cents on the dollar with your uh, 3d printer if you happen to have one okay how or many libraries you... libraries a lot of libraries That's have true. printers you can use yeah just don't know what the quality is but yeah it's an option slip a couple dollars in the donation jar uh what'd you yeah. get you got two skulls two skulls yeah yeah by the way we can't really see your dice tray anymore like it's like half off the, off oh, the camera i was trying to roll them towards the corner so that you could see but yeah he didn't yeah. get anything he didn't get anything so he took two damage oh i could do this there we go true true there you go all right okay yeah so he took two damage nice Could zoom that camera out a little bit, maybe. Um, actually, I could. Or you mean the dice camera or the battle camera? Yeah, no, the the, the dice camera because oh. you know because like, you, when you're trying to roll the dice, we can't really see it because it goes off the screen. There. I don't think it needs to be zoomed in quite that much. No, that's better. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. My turn. It's all gone to turn. Okay. Skeleton is first going to attack the barbarian. Two skulls. Barbarian. Roll your defend dice. <laughs> One white shield. It's like he's a witch of the west. One white shield. Yep, just one. I don't know why I find that so funny. Or if you could play with, uh, you know, pitch of his voice. <laughs> that didn't Give make me any sense. ideas <clears throat> just find those sound files and put them into you know winamp or something yeah <laughs> and just, oh and then just have like a little soundboard that you play yeah yeah <laughs> see that's what i wanted to do for my stream but the way sound alerts goes it's just it's a page and you have to scroll through it it's not organized in any way like it's the thing no. where you go to page two and it has to load everything and if you click too quickly it doesn't load <clears> them all it's just like ah it's best if you just have like five or six sound effects and that's it. <laughs> I have a Star Wars app on my phone and I was in a D and D group kind of like this. I forget what it was like, roll twenty or something. And then every time like we'd find a trap, I'd play that Admiral Ackbar. You know, it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> and, and the whole party just got got sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, could you please stop doing that? Yeah. <laughs> it means it means <laughs> Yeah, just like every you wouldn't even talk to people you would just communicate in <laughs> yeah. random star wars clips pretty much <laughs> they're like they're like yelling like stop stop you're like all right all right all right <laughs> they told me they fixed it <laughs> i trusted them to fix it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like no matter what they say you always have a response <laughs> like just 
every possible thing. <laughs> back again, battery got low and started glitching out. Hey, J sir, glad you're back. Yeah, I was just like, man, he is. those dogs, uh, you know, they got hungry and they turned on you. It's like, I'm sure we would have heard something. <laughs> no, so, or the heat got you or something. We figured you just, yeah. Okay. Well, Jay, sir, um, what happened while you were gone is you um, went down to Hurt. four body points. Yeah. And all you've got left is your stalwart to save you if you happen to die. Okay. So the um, skeleton attack <clears throat> with two dice. I didn't roll his defense yet, did I? Starting to lose the plot. Or no, he, I took it. Took it away. Okay, so the skeleton did his attack. Now the skeleton's going to move. One, two, and now the. He's retreating. Yeah. yeah. Chaos warrior is going to attack the dwarf. How? What do you mean, how? Oh, the K. Oh, I thought you were talking about the wizard. Never mind. <laughs> well, you didn't know he could do that? <laughs> Questioning my powers? No, I... Hey, th where's yeah. line of sight? <laughs> yeah, no, there's no line of sight there. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos <laughs> warrior. <laughs> okay, the sorry. The red warrior. Rose has attacked dice. Try <laughs> to defend against it. Yeah, see? I could do it. Are you the voice actor for that? You sound just like him. <laughs> no. All right. All right, Joker, get out of here. Three skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Three skulls. Okay, so he defends with four. Ching, and two damage. And he's dead again. The dwarf is dead again? Yep, but... He's got two potions. He's got the plus four and he's got the 1d6. I'm thinking plus four. <laughs> All right, let's just use the plus four. It's reliable. Yeah, I don't want to roll oh. a one. You know. He's got a potion of strength, you know. <laughs> oh, did not know that. that. For fighting. That's just one attack worth, though. Okay, so the Chaos Warrior attacked. Now he's going to... Move. Let's see. Chaos Warriors, I want to say seven. Okay. Well, I got the card out. Just give me a sec. I'll look. Yeah, it's seven. Okay. Yeah, it's. They increased it from the European version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way to the side of the sorcerer's table there. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. Okay, the other one is going to... Yeah, they're both wounded. He's going to attack the knight. One skull. Knight defends. Jay, sir, are you there to roll? Or am I rolling for you? He's probably not in the chat yet. He's been rolled. <laughs> oh, he is in the chat. Okay. He's in the voice chat, yep. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Should I roll for you then? Yes, please. Okay. okay it's only one skull. Ching ching! You got two sh white shields. Deflected it. I'm glad I varnished those uh, dice because it's so hot. Like that plast or that paint could be melting. In this heat. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So after that. Oh, Vylor still gets to do something. Ooh. Or, you know, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, but he wants to. Mm, okay, let me just look through his evil arsenal. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... 
All right, he's going to use sleep on the barbarian. Sleep! Oh, great. <laughs> he couldn't pick a. He hero just with used his potion. <laughs> What's that? Could pick someone. So you with couldn't pick mind. a hero that had more mind points. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> always always the barbarian <clears throat> put to sleep. Anything you can do about it? Um, I could. Does it? Ha what does it? What are the? Like, do I have to roll something? Like, is it like the nope. um, magic resistance? No. You just well, I mean, that's the thing. You can resist the spell normally, but if you use your magic resistance, it just nullifies the effect. So I guess you don't pass out. Yeah, Fubar is telling you what to do there. Magic yeah, I guess I'll use the magic resistance. Yeah, because otherwise you just get two rolls of six and then you're asleep. Okay, magic resistance successfully used. Ah, he stayed awake. He's like Tommy Lee Jones drinking that coffee in the Japanese commercial. Look it up. It's pretty <laughs> funny. All right. Um, okay, he does that. And he's going to move. Three. One. Yeah, he doesn't have much places to go. Okay, so he's just going to move one. All right. Okay, with that, it's uh, Barbarian's turn. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is pass those potions of warmth to the knight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the the uh, rules actually say pa may pass one potion, but... Oh, okay. Well, I'll just do as many as I can, then just the one. Okay. He leaves the other one on the ground just for later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. I I threw both of them, but only one got met its mark. <laughs> All right, I rolled an eight. Uh, I will go to the skeleton and try and turn into dust. Uh, yeah. Get a bone to pick with my skeleton, do you? Two skull. Trying to turn them into toothpicks. Skeletons like skulls. Did you say two skulls? Yep. Dang. Nothing. Nothing? Yep. Turn All right. I'm going to pick up one of the uh, splinters and uh, pick the uh, stuff out of my teeth with it. <laughs> Gross, but effective. <laughs> Low mind points, remember? Yeah. <laughs> you don't care. Me barbarian. Yeah. Germs, what are germs? Its immune system is so powerful that it just laughs it off. I'm not going to play it, but there's that sound effect from Predator where Arnold Schwarzenegger is like trying to get his attention, and he's like, <laughs> it goes on for like, a, yeah, it's like, whoa, <laughs> it's like falling asleep, wake him up. All right. The John Cena one does that too. Okay. Nicely done. Okay, dwarf. What should the dwarf do? Well, his path is clear now. Yeah, he's got four hit points, so he should be good for Seven. a minute. I'm thinking he should chase down one of the Chaos Warriors. Maybe go help I out the knight. Yeah. One, two. Like, like so. Or should he move into a different place? This I don't see any difference on the screen, so I'm not sure where he's at. It's like he could either be to the <clears throat> east or to the south of that. I'm thinking. Board. I was thinking two to the east because I kind of wanted to move in behind him and get the diagonal attack going. But I. I don't know if my Twitch locked up. I'm going to restart it. There's a bit of a delay on it, too, but that's all right. Right, I know, but I'm thinking it would have changed by now. In my, I, I saw a little twirly, like, loading sign, so I'm just going to refresh the page here. 
<clears throat> okay, there he is. Um, yeah, that works too. I was thinking in front of the door, but that that should be that's that's fine. Mm. Okay, so he's good there. And give an attack. He's got the torch, so good. All right, two skulls. Chaos Warrior defends. So we got the 15 minute warning. I'm starting to pass Is that. Is that late again. already? Holy yeah. crap. <laughs> well, we didn't, time get, flies. we didn't get started on time. True, but it's still, bad. it's like a four-hour stream. It just doesn't seem yeah. that long. <laughs> no, it's the heat. Uh, okay, so two skulls, ching, and then one damage. All right. All right. Jacer. Oh, I earned some channel points finally. Nice. What the, uh... Attack him with the longsword. Alright. Fair enough. Three skulls. Ooh. Ooh, nice. No defense. Nice. Down he goes. He died. The Chaos Warrior has died. How much does he have for movement? Uh, am I rolling for your movement too? Yes, please. Okay. Four. Uh, put me in front of the door. That way no one else, or it doesn't get blocked up. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Is the scout doing anything? Yeah. What's yeah, the scout? Might look, bring him in and uh, put him in front of the other dread warrior. Have him attack. Like so. Raise the scout. Yeah. Showing his quality. Right. Well, we were trying to keep him out of the battle to keep him alive. <laughs> well, two skulls. Okay. Because he's basically Whoa. just a trap finder. So. Got him. Got him. Nice. Scout. I got one. Great kid. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Don't get cocky. <laughs> All right. Now we can surround the. The wizard. The wizard. He got one, but now he's uh, <laughs> got in, it! in line to be taken out by the wizard. <laughs> My turn. It all depends on how uh, how far the uh, elf can move. Yeah, I'm roll. I'm rolling for movement right now. And I rolled a six, so not very far. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess um, as close to the barbarian as I can get. All right. Is that where you wanted to be? Yeah, that's right. That's just right where I was thinking. Hmm. Smart. Very smart. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Who's next? It's Argon. Argon's turn. Here comes another ice spell. <laughs> Just deciding what I want him to do. <clears throat> he mind controls the barbarian and he attacks me. 
That would be cool. <laughs> is there a mind flayer type yeah, the creature command, in hero quest? Command is the uh, the old dread spell, chaos spell. Oh, it's just a spell that's not like a creature that does it. Right. Because like, I think it's D&D &D has like a mind flayer. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and in the hero quest game system, it's called command. So you get to move them and attack as a monster. Nice. And in party members against, each other. against the Ogre Horde, it's called um, Dominate. But for that, I think it's just one turn. It isn't just like in effect until you can break out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, that would suck. It's like, oh, my party killed me. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's like you can get creative too, because it's like, oh, can you be suicidal with it too? <laughs> like, is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Wander into that pit trap over there. <laughs> yep. Or because he, well, yeah, that's the thing is like, if he's acting as a monster, is he immune to traps or does he still have the abilities of a hero? So true. I would tend to say he's like a hero, but I guess you cross that ridge when you come to it. Judgment call, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Plan it out ahead of time. Have your excuses <laughs> ready for when the com players complete. <laughs> well, actually, um. block in the way all right he's gonna shoot a lightning bolt at the scout Zzz, kills him because it's two body points worth of damage he doesn't have anything against it so ah, 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 ah. all right and then he's got his movement but let's see one two three four five six a moment of silence for the scout yeah <laughs> All right, that's all Viler's going to do. Pretty vile. Barbarian. Could he, could he be more Viler? Or L Viler. Brave, brave. Robin forgot to bravely run away. <laughs> I'm uh, rolled seven, so if you could put me up to him so I can take a swing, that'd be great. Oh, you know, we never decided who that potion of restoration went to, did we? Well, the chat said it was for the elf. Like it, it specifically said that. I think so. so. I just, I just, I just wrote it on my. Oh, I'm glad my, you wrote it on your my, sheet. Okay. Yeah. Restoration. Okay, good. One body point, one mind point, right? So you yep. said. Yep. Okay. I forgot to bravely run away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to kill. You gotta kill. Yeah, it's he's, he's, he did great. No. I'd rehire him if I could. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Elviler. Yep, I rolled a seven. You move me to the to Vilor so I can avenge. Introduce him to my axe. <laughs> <It's> Reginald. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I was just thinking that. <laughs> if I had the sound alert thing, I'm just saying. Ooh, a threat card. Hey, I'll take it. Two skulls. Hold on. Let me see what the threat card was. Okay. Threat card for Zargon. Oh, great. So, you know, it looks like we're going to win. So we got to throw a wrench in the plans here. Yeah. Suddenly a spiked log rolls from the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, even though we're all at like half health or worse. <laughs> yeah. And we just lost a mercenary. All right, so the, the spiked log uh, lands on, on the barbarian's head. Oh, that was real? Yep. Uh, I've got luck. Okay. Just kidding, it falls next to him. It <laughs> doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Phew! What it a luck. It takes it at the table. <laughs> yeah, it smashes onto the... Right next to him, onto the uh, sorcerer's table. What? Barbarian it doesn't wreck the around. table. There might be some good potions on that thing. He shrugs. Barbarian looks around. Did I feel a breeze? <laughs> Did you say you got two skulls? Yes. All right. And a white shield and a black shield, if it matters. Pardon me, guys. I had beans for lunch. 
<laughs> Nothing. Uh, he crumbles to the floor. He dead? What happens when you run away from me? He dead. I corner you and then kill you. Alright, Violor has been slain. Loot the body, loot the body. Oh, shit. Can't do that. Yeah, so the only other Arian just want talk, but you run. <laughs> he did have he did have Tempest and Chill, but I didn't use those. Didn't get to use them. <laughs> I know, it sounds like a hey. Come by for some Tempest no, was, and Chill, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I was I was reading I was reading chat, Foo Foo Bar said something funny. Barbarian is like a cat. Swift. <laughs> agile. Knocks glasses of water to the floor while maintaining eye contact. <laughs> 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 yep. It's <laughs> just that kind of guy. All right. I yeah, know that that attack, that attack was just the barbarian turning around because the logs distracted him <laughs> and his that, axe just happened yeah. to hit him. Yeah, he had his axe in his <laughs> offhand. He's like, "Oh, sorry about that." <laughs> sorry, and it just like like a tree. It's been fell. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, alrighty then. Dwarf. The dwarf searches for treasure. Uh, should he search for traps? Traps may be a good thing to search for too. But we didn't we didn't tr spring any, so but which one is we should it? probably search for treasure them. trap, I don't know. Yeah, furniture maybe the trap. table is trapped. Yeah, people always forget about furniture traps. They just they see furniture yeah. and they're like, search? It's like, well how do you know it wasn't okay? You know you're, what quest pack you're playing, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. This is a tough one. So. I mean, there's probably a trap right beside, like, right outside the uh, exit. Notice well, we would have sprung that. Oh, you mean? Never mind. All right. So, our, what are we searching for? I think traps is a better one to search for first. Okay, you search for traps. No traps. Okay. No treasure. No traps. <laughs> okay. And then if there's, then after treasure, we'll do secret doors and see if there's a way to get out of here without. All right. Is the dwarf moving, or is he just we're going on to the next turn? No, well, there's no threat, so I figured it didn't really. Oh matter. yeah, I don't have to roll for movement. Okay. Is he moving? Is he staying? I mean, he's got to move around to search for the traps, right? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Not really. It just searches the and there's really there. Yeah. If there's no reason to move, then, you know, okay. why, why move? All right. Knight. What should he so there's, no, so there's no traps then? No traps. Okay. Did he get to search for his uh, treasure? Let's search for treasure. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last round. Sorry, guys. It's... uh. Just in a minute, oh, okay. minute to go. I know I could oh, yeah, go it's another. Almost 10. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun though. I'm glad you guys showed up. Oh yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, okay, so searching for treasure, treasure hoard. Luck is with you. You find a small treasure chest under an old fur, containing 100 gold coins. Woot. Yep. It's almost I like thought for sure it'd be a wandering monster and then we'd be like, to be continued. Yeah, <laughs> see you next week. It's like I did it on purpose just so that you'd come back. It's like, oh man, you can't leave him in the lurch like that. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> Old streamer's trick. <laughs> okay. All right. And Scout is unfortunately no longer with us. Mourn him. So we can take his uh, marker off the board, too. Yeah. Do you have any gear for us to collect? Nope. So that was Scout Robin. Okay. Do we have time for me to search for treasure before we quit? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, let's do that. All right. Yeah, very pleasant to meet you and have you in the game. Thank you. Yeah, it's I'm... not the last time we see you. 
Shouldn't be. I, I I I have every Saturday night off of work, so it's. I mean, oh, I'd sweet. like to make it a regular thing if possible. I mean, unless something comes up, of course. Yeah, I'm Ooh, not jewels. Sure. Jewel. Fifty gold. Fifty, 50 gold. gold. Yep. You find a small wooden box. It's plain and old, but within it is lined with velvet and contains fifty gold coins worth of jewels. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure about next Saturday because I got some stuff I got to do. I'll have to think about oh, okay. it. Okay. But I mean, no big. We'll still probably have the rant cast. Or no, wait, no, right. that'll be every other. No, oh, so actually I won't have anything. The only possibility <laughs> is Friday, um, but we'll see. But yeah, I might take the, take the weekend off. But after that, yeah, the sky's the limit. Cool. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, I mean, just because we do this doesn't mean that you guys can't do your own games. Um, and there there is that other um, Discord with the tabletop simulator. I don't know if you have any experience with that. I do not. Uh, well, there's this there's this uh, program on Steam called Tabletop Simulator, and yeah, I think I've heard you talk about it before, but I've never actually like looked into it. Yeah, it's like it didn't work for me at all for years, and I was mm. I would just had nothing good to say about it, and then finally it started working. I was like, hmm, I, you know, it has some advantages. Right. It, it doesn't really speed up the game any, but it's like if you don't have any HeroQuest assets or you don't yeah. have time to set it up, you can easily do it that way and. Um, it, it's a nice way for somebody who wants to be Zargon to like quickly get, get yeah. going. So. Well, mine will be here Tuesday, so <laughs> yeah, so you'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, I got the I got this uh, expansion too, the Frozen Horror expansion with it too. Nice, so. nice. Well, yeah, I haven't gotten the other two yet. I did I did pre-order the the Elf Air guy too. Rogue Air so. Velthorn. Yeah. Rogue Air, yeah. I'm sorry, I said yeah, elf, but yeah, Rogue Air. The Elf Rogue of Athlon. Yeah, so um, that won't be out until December 1st. Right, yeah, I pre-ordered that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told myself I wouldn't pre-order. I just order. I mean, (laughs) I know they're going to be retail. They're not going to just run out, but yeah, it's just my thing. Have we heard anything more about Gen Con? I suppose there's nothing, no more new big announcements, just Heroescape. No, I haven't seen any new news. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm excited for Heroescape. I still have all my old terrain and everything so that'll ah, be fun see it's it's not a game i ever played yeah. i didn't realize it came out in what 2004 but something like that yeah it was after hero quest i remember it was like seeing after it after i was I out of high school i didn't know what it was and then years later it's like oh hero escape stephen baker worked on that one too it's like really and it's like oh it was like really popular for four years well even yeah. after even after they stopped supporting it i guess people like made mods and stuff for it for yeah years and years so similar to hero quest how you have that dedicated community so right, I'm sure yeah, it's really people, similar. A lot of people happy about yeah. it. Yeah, and you got the little stack stackable tile hexes. Yeah, that just was the funnest it. part is building building your terrain. Like I, yeah. <laughs> so it's like uh, I would just sit around for hours and, and just yeah, yeah. Because I, le- I love I love to play with Legos, and it's like, well, this is Legos I can actually use for something. <laughs> so now, did that actually affect the gameplay? Sure, like Lego high high ground. Well, yeah, because pretty yeah yeah. There's all those those kind of rules. I even got some like little tiny like miniature trees to you know for line of sight and to you know hide in the forest and that kind of stuff. Cool. It was pretty sweet. All right, well guys, let's call it a night. Thanks for joining and participating. Yeah, as always, yeah. I appreciate the particip- participation from the crowd, especially Fubar, <laughs> throwing us the curveball back and forth, and Ribby, uh, giving us some last-minute um, thrills. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, it's all it's all good. Uh, can I search for uh, secret doors? Oh, just... just as yeah, that. I was going to do that too, but I forgot. Sure. Yeah, there's no secret doors in the room. It's good to know. All right. So I'll just go ahead and whip out my camera. Take a little screenshot. Snapshot. Old school snapshot of the board. Where we are. So, yeah, the quest isn't over yet because you haven't found the door. Right. So there could be more to do. So yeah, we may not we may not do next Saturday, but um, I'll definitely let you know what the schedule is going to be. I'm curious if there. I'm curious if there's still a feeling of dread over in that by that hallway. You know, since the the wizard guy is dead now, so, is that what we were feeling before or not? Yeah. That's what I'm wondering about. <laughs> well, Fubar, I mean, that's that's a lot of gold. So there's always next time. 2K gold. Holy crap.
Yeah. Well, see, originally the prices were a lot higher, but as uh, Bob Marston was advising me, like, who's like people want to interact, so you might as well like lower the prices, and that way people can drop right. in. And yeah, before it's like okay, can... you're, you're just encouraging people to lurk for hours and hours. It's like, or you can let them jump in, or yeah, save it for something special. They can feel like they're part of the game. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah, because yeah, they yeah. are. They are. Yeah. yeah, it's all about inclusion. Yep, it's all part, part of the plan. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Um, anybody have anything to plug? Oh yeah, Voriani. Thanks for thanks for joining and watching. You too. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um. So definitely check out War Builder J or War Builder 22 J on youtube is jacer's uh channel he he's done like stuff where he takes battle masters and hero quest and like simulates because there's different battles that take place in hero quest like between quests and stuff there's like little cutscenes. he's like oh well what if i actually did that so they're coming out of keller's keep and they're like storming the gates you know with the chaos warriors and everything it's like oh okay because, i've always wanted to do that you mash up yeah. hero quest and hero scape yeah well now's your chance yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, Elviler's got Elviler.com, which is pretty awesome. And he did that recent article um, about the elf stuff. And I'm sure he's updated it by now. And Strange Bus, of course. The Strange yeah. Bus. <laughs> what, what was that? Oh, I haven't done much uh, more yet. Okay. I'll get to it probably after Gen Con's done. Yeah. Do a the aftermath. Combina a compilation of. Yeah, everything. I liked how you. I liked how you like did it as it was unfolding. It's like, oh, we're seeing the edge of this card, and we have this like little bit of text here. What could it mean? And then later, oh yeah, war space builder sp space J twenty two. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, pretty awesome, pretty cool. I mean, kudos to you for setting all that up and like actually doing the turns in real time. And it's like, wow, you know, a lot of people talked about it. You actually did it. So. Yeah, I'm going to check it out right after this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could just imagine, um, you know, having a bunch of kids in a room and being like, okay, you guys control that faction over there. And, you know, <laughs> just, just just take the whole afternoon, you know, do it. Uh, do the whole battle. Yeah, battle Masters was a massive game. I mean, that map is huge. Like, it yep. took up your whole floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I bought that one too, Battle Masters, back in the day. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't have it back in the day, but I bought it recently. And, yeah, I, <clears throat> oh. I haven't had that many opportunities because you do need a lot of space to play it. Yep. I mean, I had this, like, kitchen table, and we had to, like, take poster board and, like, pile it up so that it <laughs> went over the edges. Actually, yeah, the, be yeah, that... the, the best way was uh, uh, on a pool table, and we had, like, this um, – it's for photography. Like, you fold the thing out, and it's supposed to, like, block the light. Like, it's – it's almost like a hula hoop with like canvas over it. And we put that on mm -hmm. top of the pool table, and so it was just enough space to, because it's <laughs> nice. you know it's like a bed sheet. Yeah. I think in Carmine in the in the chat, he's the insider guy. He said that they used a twister mat <laughs> originally. <laughs> I mean, before they just just uh, get the size right. Yeah, and then they and then they sewed like four of them together. <laughs> Probably that thing was that thing was huge. Yeah, because the whole point or of maybe... is that it's like you're cramped. Yeah. The other people. Took forever. Tons of dice rolling. Yeah. Yeah, I bet your hands. But maybe because I was smaller back then, it just seemed bigger. I don't know. Yeah, there, there's, there's that too. <laughs> Twister. All right, everybody. Um, let's see. Is there somebody we can raid? It's always the question. I think we're looking at an ad right now. Oh, man. They're showing like some f greasy fast food. I'm like pretty hungry. Oh, just dripping grease. Oh, ugh. <laughs> and yet I can't turn away. <laughs> it's so, so over the top. The guy's like licking his fingers. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's the most disgusting slash appetizing thing you could think of. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay. Yeah. It looks like nobody's up. That's all right. So, all right. Everybody, thanks for joining us here on HeroQuest fans. Um, we're 11 minutes over just because I'm so slow, like, just recovering. But thanks for the game. You guys take care. Have a good weekend. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you. All right. Good night.
All right, good game, everybody. And that concludes our stream.